the morning comes as you all are, you know, resting in whatever room that uh, Rugga Wood can supply for you in the inn, in the Golden Claw. And most everyone's morning goes fairly normal, aside from Luna, who you hear a rattling in the corner of the room. You can see the sheath of absolution shaking. I'm running to get it? Like, I jump out of the bed to go get it. <laughs> you grab it, and it starts to shift as if it's being pulled by an etherical force in a certain direction. Uh, and I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we started uh, off strong, so weren't we? Oh, Jesus. That's how it, it's going to be. <laughs> okay, oh, God, we're starting save, off strong. Strength save? Yep. 20. <laughs> okay, you hold oh. on to it. And if you like, it starts to drag you your feet sliding across the floorboards, but you're able to get a good grip and hold it steady. And I then the shaking. I want to follow it. Yep. I you, wanted, I wanted to like it to let it lead. I just didn't want to like let go of it. Right, right, right. It leads you just to the wall of your room, uh, presumably, uh, to the next room over. Oh dear. Wait. That's not is that good. one of ours? No. Okay. Oh. That's worse. You, you don't know. You don't know whose room that is. Am oh no! I, uh, I, I want to try and wrestle this thing, the sheath, onto my back. I guess if it starts to calm down. Yeah, or is it, the, still it does. The hell it out? does calm down after a moment. The hell has gone in here? Uh, and I'm gonna stow it on my back, but very quickly, just get my shit and go <laughs> leave my room. Um, yep. I'd like to try and okay. What's the layout? Is this like one of those places where it's got like two stories and there's like a banister that leads looks down onto the bar? Or is this an entirely different floor with stairs? Uh, it's a different floor with stairs and it's laid out like a hallway with rooms aligned. Are the rooms numbered? Uh, more or less, yeah. Okay, I just want to make note of that room's number then uh, because I... Yeah, let's say it's room number six. Yours was number five. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... Note that that's room number six, and I'd like to go downstairs and find tap water. <laughs> okay. And uh, while you do that, uh, how is the rest of you's mornings goes? Taking the extra minute, making sure that I am looking absolutely, like, flawless today because... Oh no, I, me I messed up last night. I, got I gotta look my best today! <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, you can give me a charisma check. Oh god, okay. Here we go. You look all right, although it's very clear to see that you had a rough night, but you try to spruce up as best you can. You, you, <laughs> you know, you, you do your makeup and all of that, but, you know, some of it's a little off. The wings are not as flowy as they normally would be. She's just like cursing to herself in the mirror. Oh. While you're having your uh, difficulties, uh, I am waking up calmly, gently taking out a handkerchief. Gently cleaning glasses, putting them on, getting out banana suit, <laughs> unpeeling. Just that now. Unpeeling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean like repeeling? You're putting yeah, it, it on. Needs to be uh, no, Holy if, shit. If, if you peel, you take it off. That's how bananas work. I am unpeeling. <laughs> it is going back on. This is where, this is like taking a naked banana and finding an empty peel and making that work somehow. Oh, you've been unpeeling. I thought you've been like so no, peel. surgically yeah. reapplying, yeah, but unpeeling. Unpeeling. No. Okay. Repealing peeling is where you take it. Oh, oh, peeling is <laughs> that's I right. I am unpeeling. In either case, gotcha, I put the gotcha. suit on. I I go to the or I go to the mirror. I put my hat on. I look at myself in the mirror. My eyes are perfect because I have reptilian skin, so my face doesn't get baggy. And then I walk out. Good for you. I've never completely... been so <laughs> angry with another human being in my life. I am completely, completely content. And Good. my face betrays no emotion. There it is. <laughs> Enoch, how does your morning go? Uh, well, I wake up, I put my arm back on, as per tradition. I walk over towards the mirror and I stare at the reflection, almost squinting my eyes, looking at it. And I take my hat, I 
put it on. My hair is still slightly messy. I brush off my jacket, reapply, and get all my equipment, and kind of right before I leave, I stare back at the mirror one more time, kind of trying to bolster my emotion here. And then I When you stare at the mirror the a second time, you hear a soft chuckle. <laughs> I let out a sigh. <laughs> and I just leave the room. You hear nothing more. So you head out of the room. And as you guys uh, head out one by one, Luna, you see that tap water is uh, in in the tavern. There's a few regular patrons, as well as tap water, uh, mirth, and Juliana. And you can see that uh, mirth is sitting next to tap water, who is you know, yet to start a regular shift, it seems, and is talking a mile a minute. And Tapwater is just nodding his head along. And you hear a voice in your head kind of echoing in your mind. I am sorry, adventurer, but on Chief Juliana's orders, I am unable to spare you any breakfast on account of our low supply. Also, could you please occupy mirth for me? They are talking my ear holes off. <laughs> uh, I... I guess I, I'm replying. I don't understand why you're talking in my head, but, uh... I am attempting to be polite. Uh, I, I, I give a nod and, and then say, if I can ask a question, yes, sure. Of course. And uh, as, you, as you walk closer, uh, you can hear Mirth just going off and off about all these experiments and potions and recipes, and Tapwater speaks uh, verbally now. Ah, it appears that your companion... Luna is here. Perhaps you can share with her as well. <laughs> I, I I just uh, give a wave. Yes, hello. Um, can you just give me one moment? Uh, tap water. Yes. Like what is it, something. Luna? Could you tell me? There's a. I, I heard some strange noise last night coming from room six. Uh, could you tell me? It's who's staying up there? Uh, Mirth speaks up, and uh, actually, I have art of Mirth now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my boy. Oh, I've seen oh, a boy. So and they look like. I swear to God, this. if he's hot. Oh, he's a dwarf. Oh, my God. A, it's a, it's a, oh, my God. It, it my is a, child. It is, it is a my day, child. by the way. So cool. It's a day. Yeah, it's a day. I, 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 yeah. they, they, I am not yeah, They're so cool. <laughs> look at my child. Yeah. No, they're so cool. <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh. And uh, I am keeping Mirth, them. Mirth speaks up. Oh, that's my room. Uh, sorry, I was I was experimenting last night, make, making a few more new recipes, you know. Can I, dear, can I speak with you for a moment, please? It's your uh, room, yes? Uh, they, they put their potion bottle on the table and kind of like just scratch the back of their head. A am I in trouble? No, oh, no, 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 not at all, dear. I just had a bit of a, just, just come with me for a moment, all right? Okay. You're not and in trouble. They get up and uh, follow you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going back upstairs. Um, oh, back upstairs. Okay. Yeah. You do, and you pass by your three other companions. Oh. And uh, uh, I, I, Mirth, Mirth waves to each one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Oh. Out of there, mate. Uh, they're currently an issue. What? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I just need to check something, that's all. And then I'll, I'll, I'll let you all know what's going on. I just need to check something. All uh, right. I... Eyes narrow. You're free to come with us. Just, uh, I have a few questions, that's all. Mm. Given no, my immediate relationship with Mirth, I will follow behind Mirth just to kind of see what's going on. I cannot. I have somewhere else to be. I need to make preparations for the trip we're about to go on. All right. Well, uh, maybe we can meet at the bar. Me all meet down in the bar, I guess, to figure out what our plans are. Uh, Renee just nods, but also like looks over to Nathaniel, like, uh, do you mind if I join you? I expected that. Uh, right. Right, of girls. Just nods like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Luna's gonna give Renee a little pat on the shoulder. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you two soon then. Yes? Yes. yes. And we will catch up with you three after this so yes you all go off in your other directions and luna uh luna or rather not three you two 
Luna and Enoch are staying save, by Mirth. Save a tea yeah. for me. Yeah, well. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, Mirth. Yeah? I'm sorry I pulled you away like that. I just didn't want to ask this in front of the others. But you haven't happened to have found anything that, um, I don't know, might have a... Uh, some strange symboling on the, symbols on them, or anything that may be radiating a, a kind of magic that you don't know. Uh, Mirth just uh, gazes around, like almost searching the building. Mm, no, unless you you think you know alchemy is strange magic, because I use some I... very strange ingredients sometimes. You know, doing science, you need to. Well, so when I woke up this morning. I had a rather strange situation happen. Uh, and I'm going to start not unsheathing, but taking off of, taking, uh, uh, taking uh, absolution off my back, like scabbard and all, not unsheathing it. I'm not threatening th right, right, this right. sweet child. <laughs> um, right, you, ta you take off the entire thing, including the scabbard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so one of my swords was reacting to something in your room. I don't know what, but it was flying towards the wall. Oh, well, that's weird. Just, just a little bit. I, I. This is rather new. I'm just trying to make sure that maybe there wasn't something that was maybe attracting metal in your room. Maybe they scratch their head a little bit, and you can see that they step a few steps like closer to Enoch. Uh, well, I mean, if you want, you can look in there, but I, I mean, it's it's kind of private and. I've got a few I, I projects that I'm not quite ready to I show ask. yet. I don't want to ask to search your room. That's not my place. I just... It's a strange occurrence this morning, that's all. I'm just trying to make I, heads and tails of it. Okay. I get I get down on one knee, and I take off my hat, and I look Mirth in the eye. I believe if there is one piece of fellow advice from one engineer to another, the best kind of properties I've ever found in people is honesty. If you feel like your privacy is important to you, I understand. But if there's something going on in there, you'll be honest with me, yeah? They look to the ground a bit and just kind of like start to scratch their their lap. Um, how long will you be staying? I look up towards Luna I with a questioning imagine. face. I can't imagine much longer. We need to get on the road soon. I'm sure pro we're probably heading out today. Uh, tell you what, if you can give me, um, maybe an hour uh, before you go, uh, I I can show you. I just need to get everything ready. Okay, sure, sure. Yes, All and right. uh, Miss Renee, was it? Uh, she took off with the potions, oh, that's uh, Luna. and I'm grateful that she'll send me letters or, or s some sending or, or something else, uh, but I'm just really eager to see the results soon, you know? Like, uh, do you think maybe, uh, just for some confidence, maybe maybe she or, or one of you could could try one before before you leave? Uh, I mean, I, uh, if you don't I, want to, that's all fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just very excited and just, just a bit too <laughs> excited, you know? Sure, sure, try one. I don't mind. They have a big smile from ear to ear. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna make sure that the thing is ready. And uh, they just kind of like creak open the door and kind of scuffle in. Uh, I promise it's gonna be something amazing. I I'm sure it will be. Just be careful. Yes. I will. I put my hat back on. I stand on both of my feet. Well, that went well. I'm concerned. This isn't the first time I in. This is. <sighs> The past two days I felt my sword acting like it's never acted before. It got cold when we were in Yezdal, and that's never happened before, and then I woke up to the damn thing rattling and slamming itself, trying to slam itself into a wall. <laughs> so, is that often a negative reaction, or is it like a forewarning kind of reaction? I can't tell. I've never had it happen before. This is... It's never done this. It's just a, it's a nice sword. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a sword. <laughs> it's not supposed to do things like that. In a world of magic, mystery, and whatnots, I, usually listen, things like that do not often come without the advice 
that it gives. Oh, I... not... I had the thing looked at a dozen of times. They've never found anything magical about it. Honestly, I... The, the, the whole story my father told me about it, I'm not even sure how true that story is. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? You and me, we're... a bit alike. Yeah. I think we're blessed in very similar ways. But we also acknowledge that we are from two very different kinds of cuts of cloth. Mm-hmm. Who do you suppose is your cut of cloth? I... Have you ever heard of the Queen of Ravens? The goddess of passing souls, death, not too unfamiliar with it. So I don't have any proof, but I have looked into it before, wondering what my father saw or was claimed to have seen. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she appeared that day. I, I don't know, something clearly happened. I may not know what she asked in return, but I think I can make a very clear connection that uh, I was a direct result of whatever deal he asked for, or she made. It's just never... I don't... I've never had... I've never had instances where I felt pulled. I've just always gone through my life. I didn't ever feel claimed, or that I had some something to follow, I just... I hunt monsters, and I fight with my father's sword because I loved my father, and he's gone. So, this is all a bit weird for me. Can I ask one more personal question? Hmm? Yes. How well did you know your father? Like, was he, a, was he good to you? Of course. I mean, uh, he was he was tough when we were, especially, especially when he was teaching me how to use these things. I, I, at least three of my scars are simply from those days. But my father was a great person. I'm proud. I see. I don't think that this is a direct result of him doing something wrong. I think that whatever, whatever he saw that day, I think that he was just doing what, the best he could as a leader trying to protect his men. I've... I made my peace with that a long time ago. Someone in my family had to. And uh, she's gonna walk away. All right. I just stand in the middle of the, the hallway for a few minutes. <sighs> That's it. Okay. And now we can catch up with Rene and Nathaniel. As you walk on out, it's a bright, beautiful day. Birds are chirping. People are chatting around. Went. <laughs> I had a sign. And I assume you are walking towards Lancel's cottage, yes? Yes, on days like these. Kids <laughs> like you. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I hate it here, anyway. Yep. <laughs> you casually start it. making your way to Lancel's cottage. Is there anything you do on the way? Uh, Renee, as soon as like they're sort of on their own, she will um, give sort of like a small nod um, and just say, uh, I want to apologize for uh, how I was acting yesterday. It was a little bit, it was out of place. Renee, you're an investigator. If you weren't doing that, then I would have been bothered. Of course, I'm not going to tell you anything, but... And I shouldn't year. expect it of you, so it makes sense. Hmm. I will ask you a few questions. That's I fine. The f I suppose the first is, do you think that you're going to let this go? She looks at him with, like, this sort of very sarcastic expression on her face. Just, what do you think? It doesn't matter what I think. I don't want to. Absolutely not. If you yes. ask me to, I will, but... Well, I am not asking. Probably not. Then it's a game, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Encourages! Just looks over like... What? <laughs> I believe that by the end of this, you will still not know who this person is to me. Not that they are anyone to me. They are actually s simply an investigator. Junior as they are, they're not supposed to be here. Doesn't matter. But if there is anything more to be found out about it, 
I believe that you'll find it out. Or, I believe that I am still the best investigator. Oh, oh, oh. all right then, smelt ass. What do I get if I win this little wager? Did I need to give you anything? I think that the victory of information is its own reward. Hmm. See, this is why I can't get you set up with anyone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> very, uh, very well. You know what? Fine. A girl can wish for trinkets, but all she'll get is just ages of information. Right. And I think we're and about what happens here, if I lose? Just you huh? being a little shit saying, haha, you never found the truth? I would never say that. Of course you wouldn't, but I'm just saying, is there anything for you out of this? I suppose my victory will... I have had you by my side learning how to be an investigator for as long as I could. Mm-hmm. If you fail this, it'll be as if I failed. But if you <laughs> succeed, then I suppose I failed again. Just in a better way. I suppose if I win, you'll have to quit. He <laughs> just, like, pumps up her chest. She <laughs> looks so angry. Oh my god. But, like, it's in a way of, oh, oh, you're fucking, uh, oh, okay. You know what? You're on. Also, you won't be I able win. to do shit without me. So you know what? Fine. <laughs> well, I don't doubt that. Also, if I win. The intern gets to wear my hat. <gasps> <laughs> she just like looks at him out the game. Oh, you wouldn't. I look straight at you. My eyes flash a little bit with bright pink energy, and I say, "Try me." <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! You know exactly how to get me excited, but shit. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Yes, we are fucking on! In any case, I believe that we're here. Uh, this is the place that has terrible locks. Oh, okay. Mm. Are we trying to work in? No, no, I already successfully did so yesterday. Ah, alright. I'm going to <laughs> walk up the stairs, and I'm going to try the door real quick. It is locked, and you hear a voice. You know, most people knock. <laughs> Renee squint. Did you change the locks? Well, it's not going to matter, is it? And you hear ka -chunk. And you can see the dragonborn looks all set and ready. And I have art for Lancel. There he is. <gasps> it's oh, Here comes it the boy. The boy. Shit. Hello. Shit. The sword is badass. Welcome. There and it's functional. He is here. I don't like that he has a cooler sword than me. I mean, I have to fight now. <laughs> he comes out. He's got a pack on his back. His armor is all set and ready. And he looks to you with a little cheeky smile uh, to both of you. And he nods. Uh, he nods to you both. Good morning, witch taker. Miss Renee. Hmm. Good morning. And she, like, and she is smiling bright and big. <laughs> I am unimpressed by this display. He's showboating. <laughs> oh, of course. You know immediately what she's doing. <laughs> this does nothing to me. I'm not trying to do anything to you. My response. Uh, it, in response to him saying, does it matter anyway, I'll say, oh, so that's a no then. In any case, we have two more inside of the... Inside of... I, I'm, I'm trying to not say... God, what's the place called? I keep... Did, the I'm default to brothel, but that's definitely Golden not Claw. the name. Golden Claw. Golden Claw. We have two more waiting inside of the Golden Claw. Once the five of us are convened, we can go over the plan. Until then, I look at Lancel's equipment. Does he have? Does he only have the sword and no shield? Uh, no, he has no shield. Oh, <gasps> blasphemy! <laughs> I know. What kind of armor does he have? Chain? Uh, it's chainmail, yes. Excuse me, you do not need another so uh, a shield to be functional. It is it is a great sword, though. It's it's large. Oh, it's I see. It's a great he's, sword. He's got a big boy. Mm -hmm. Big boy shield. And, big uh, boy while, sword. Blah, blah. While you guys are chatting there, he, he does take a moment and reach for his pack. Uh, before we go, while I was packing, one thing I was reminded of that I didn't think about 
when we had our conversation yesterday. And he reaches out and he, he lifts out of his pack a book, a very familiar book. It's another fucking necromancer <gasps> it's journal. It's another necromancer journal! When I was fighting that necromancer from last week, he dropped this and he hands it to you. Oh my Nathaniel. fucking god, how many do we have now? <laughs> There's Is that four. That's four. three. Them. Three, okay. All I, of I, them. I will, I will take this third one, I will open it, yep. and I will like start flipping through it as I say, was there anything of note besides this being a necromancer's journal? Yes, there was a strange page, and as you're flipping through it, coincidentally, you come across it. This <gasps> page. Oh god, no, another one. Oh no, nah, it's another time for Nathaniel's reading message oh, again. Dude, All right, read it, Nathaniel. <laughs> Year 131, winter. Prolonged use of necromancy has given the appearance of black veins in a few of my mages. They seem to start from tips of the extremities and facial features first, then move up and outwards to the rest of the skin. After a while, they dissipate, not unlike sobering up from an alcoholic beverage. It seems this is a purely cosmetic side effect that has no further impact on the user. Must investigate further. Raising more, po raising of more powerful creatures and beings, example, war heroes, past lords, drakes, has resulted in less than ideal commanding impl complications. Not all reanimated corpses seem to follow orders immediately. Perhaps they maintain a sliver of sentience? Must investigate further. I've handpicked some of the mages most skilled in necromancy. Perhaps they are good candidates for testing true resurrection. I am uh, so angry. I... Oh. <laughs> hold on. You can also... hear Enoch screaming in the distance. Hold on. There are also um, rules for create undead, finger of death, uh, and let's see. Yes, common soldiers, apprentice mages, common folk, farmers, smiths, etc. Most elderly folk. Most. Hmm. I suppose that there may be a time limit. In any case, no, non-humanoids, warlords, powerful mages or warriors, large creatures. And then, in a different writing, it says, Abby, will you please stop writing in your sister's research book? And then, a third writing that says, Never, Ninja Abby. And then, a small drawing of the ninja. Oh. Abby is such a character, I love her. Oh. But Before also, I oh my god. Before you think that that is incredibly cute, perhaps remember that Abigail is a dead person, and this is a book on necromancy. And you can see mm. more specifically research notes on the nature of black veins and such. I see, yes. I'm going to have to look at this further. But this is very good. You said that you found this off of the necromancers that you fought about a week ago. I did. He dropped it in the commotion. Well then, in that case... It seems that we, I close the book, must investigate further. Thank you. Uh, you, you, see, you see uh, Lancel just like pinch his nose and just, ah. Uh, yes, yes we do. What? That was good. It was fine. Let them have visit, <laughs> let them have visit the world. <laughs> like, crossing your arms, like looking at Lancel, like, come on. He lifts his pack fun? onto his shoulder. Well, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. So I guess that he's joining us then, instead of going back home? As a matter of fact, he is. He's going to be going ah. on this adventure. Only this one. But it'll okay. be enough. You can see, he's trying to hide a smile badly. Renee just kind of like, narrows her eyes a teeny tiny bit. She's keeping her smile, but it's just kind of like a, hmm, noted. <laughs> All right. And now, while you guys head back to the tavern, uh, Luna and Enoch, you head downstairs, and Enoch, you can see... Uh, Juliana is sitting at, well, she's always sitting, but she's at one of the tables and just rapid fire so many new portraits since they're important characters now. Uh, <laughs> you can see Juliana now. Uh, oh, I love Enoch, her. You so got good beautiful. taste. <laughs> I Enoch's do. got good taste, holy shit. Oh, yeah. And you can see that she is eating a mountain of a breakfast and uh, she waves you over, Enoch, and she speaks through just a, a full mouth. You, over here. I want to have breakfast with you. I share a little bit, just a little though. 
My heart skips a beat. <laughs> Can I just like pat Enoch's shoulder? Look, that seems like that's your calling. I'm going over there and just find myself no, 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 in no, a quiet place. No, 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 no don't, please don't let me leave the alone. Listen, it's not that as scary as you might think. And I'm going to start like gently pushing him. Just say hello. I, you know, be yourself, be yourself. Go on, go on. <laughs> I'm always myself. It just kind of one step at a time being pushed down. It's not that bad. Compliment her hair or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's not the... Juliana. <laughs> yes. Metor Arnum Man. It's good to Enoch. see you. Good to see you too, Madam Juliana. And I sit down and uh, I kindly ask for just uh, tap water to get me some tap water. <laughs> Aww. Of course. And, uh, yep, he, he gets you just a fine drink. You sleep well, yes? Um, well, I, I do sleep. I just, um, sleeping well is not a concept. Hmm. Perhaps future you invent something that makes you sleep better. I think there's, like, things that you can take for it. I Besides the point, uh, how is your your evening and morning so far? Hmm, I sleep amazing, as I do everything amazing. <laughs> you can see, like, he is... He is nervously smiling. I'm very glad. Yep. Mm. And mm -hmm. she continues to just eat uh, her breakfast. Mm -hmm. And having a nice time. Uh, I, I hate to be, uh... I hate to be a bearer of bad news, uh, but we do have a mission ongoing right now, and we might be leaving a little bit later today, but I I do uh, want to stick around for as long as I can. You, you seem like a very kind and individual, and also very a... Uh, I, I like to hear more about you. Hmm. She looks... She She's like halfway through a drumstick. <laughs> What do you mean specifically? And she squints at you, suspicious, like she leans closer. Well, I don't want to be prideful, and I think it's awesome that you are literally doing your best in every aspect. Not just only defending this town, but also helping everyone around here, and also hearing me out last night, and... I'm just curious as all is what I wanted to ask is you look at me, right? You see this and I point towards the arm. Ah, you wonder why I not make arm like that. I love tell this story because story also tell how great I am. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm curious. I, I want to. Yeah, yes, that's exactly why I'm not only am I curious, yes. but also like I do want to hear. I want to hear your perspective. Yes, I love giving my perspective. Perspective so great it create entire town. You and me, we are like molten metal. We are like soft, malleable, adaptable to hook. And she lifts her hook arm hand and points at your hand or rapid fire crossbow and she kind of like pats her seat where you can see a crossbow it's rapid fire wait what? Yeah. well you can see yeah, a belt that, you can yeah, see look. a belt with bolts lining it i didn't i didn't even realize that that was there i was looking at her amazing <laughs> life changes a lot i used to be big game hunter then i was not i used to be a farmer then i was not I used to have three more limbs. Now I do not. I also used to be baby and drink from mama's teeth. Now I do not. Is no different. Life is shit. And shit cannot be stopped. I have tried making mirth make lit in anti-shit potion. But shit can either leave stain on pants or turn shit into fertilizer to grow beautiful flower or crop or rapid fire crossbow. <laughs> I, uh, I legitimately I legitimately I raise my drink to that and she clinks it with her mug and takes a big uh. swig and if rapid fire crossbow break I merely change again like metal I've lived life kind of solidifying 
what I want to be or what I think I can be. And I do see the impermanence to mechanical and also the impermanence of life. But I do... I like that thought. And just staring at her genuinely. She she smiles at you and gives you a, a, a friendly punch on the shoulder. But it, it's a little heavier than she means to. It, I No, she can. I, uh, my guard is down. Yep. And y- it it feels a little sore. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. And she takes another she takes another bite. Mm, I like you. Open to perspective. Good man. Enoch kind of becomes uneasy at hearing good man. She doesn't seem to take notice. She continues to eat her breakfast. And I think that's inspiring. I think all of, I think all of what you are is inspiring. Mm. She nods. Yes. And you and she points to you again, this time closer, kind of to the middle of your chest. You can also be great, like Juliana. She shrugs her shoulders. Maybe you already are. When I come back, and I am going to come back, perhaps we can spend more time. She smiles at that and actually puts down, like, her, her fork. I like that. I like that a lot, too. And at this moment, you hear commotion outside, just as the rest are arriving. Uh-oh. Dang, <laughs> nab it! <laughs> they, did, did, I, you're ruining my moment! Did Enoch you know, just get a girlfriend? Is that what just happened? I, I need the that. world to know that her hair needles are screws. <laughs> they best. are! It's that, the best! Yeah. It's Juliana! The best. Juliana is the best. <laughs> this is a real build a bitch right here. <laughs> this yeah. is build a bitch. She I love her. Love I love her so attitude. much. In my, in my brain, it's all I hear. I got nine, nine problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> it's just hitting that loud sound. Just like she rolls up to that song. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Bad bitch. All right. But yeah, so, so what's the commotion? I'm, sorry, commotion? I forgot that I'm supposed to be playing a game here. I just want more Juliana. <laughs> she, yeah, she's no, making an entire video of it. Juliana's motivational speeches, and I'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Commotion so, outside? Commotion, commotion outside. Um, let me just arrange all of this stuff real oh, quick. Oh, no. Arranging oh, no. stuff. Oh, no. And um, you all hear shouting and a crowd and someone chanting. And Juliana puts down her fork. God, oh, God, I cannot finish my breakfast with this commotion. And she starts to roll out of the door. Can I? Uh, roll I, out. I would have I been fall. sitting closer to the entrance. Can I just bolt out, please? Yep, you most certainly can. Yeah. I quickly follow behind Juliana, gun in hand. Yep, yep. God, I want to see the rapid fire crossbow in action, please. <laughs> yep. I, want to, I want to make one. Unfortunately, right. I can't, but. Damn, I don't want one. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get a map, aren't we? I'm scared. We are getting a map, and I'm afraid. Maps Ready. are scary. So they you are. guys <laughs> head on out of the tavern, and you can see several Spine of Death oh, members aligned. <laughs> oh no! Wait, is that the, is this the real That's bitch? The Oh, the real bitch is real close to me. I'm a real motherfucker. Um, As far as you can tell, (gasps) um, with your passive perceptions, as far as you can tell, this looks like flesh and blood. Okay, okay, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. (laughs) Hold on, hold on. (laughs) Yep, it's time to talk. I am gonna. (laughs) Yep, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a step up to this. We need, if I may. Wait, we gotta talk first. You may. Please don't shoot him Uh, yet. And I, I stared down at. I stare down at Bloodstride. Yep. Can I bring Echo Dad out? <laughs> you most certainly can. Right now. Oh, I'm shit. going he, he I'm gestures going out to attempt to buy as much time. He he gestures out to all of you. Ah, good to see you again. I'm I glad I, I was able to catch up to you. At a damn too early of a time to be seeing your face again. You were just seen yesterday. Yes, I was, I was, but that was Are coincidence, you... but now I'm intrigued. 
Are you trying to get killed? Because that's exactly what it looks like you're doing. Oh, but I'm not hostile right now. There are no, there's no need to be violent. I merely came uh, to say a few words to this nice little town. Frankly, I could nice kill you just for what you almost did to a child two days ago. And quite frankly, I could almost kill you right now considering the fact that you've attacked this town on many different occasions. I'm going to raise my hand and wait for this. We are bound by law in order to put people like you down. Will you at least not hear me out first? I promise it's just a few words. You have ten seconds. Mm, you have nice. six words. Use them wisely as I raise the gun up to, to aim. Before we begin, I don't believe that you would be here if there wasn't a way for you to get out. Oh, of course there's a way for me to get out. Yeah, run I'm, off like a coward. Like that is not a question. Time. That is not a question. I wasn't asking. But the fact that you're here with all of these people mean that you intend to tangle us up while you make your grand escape. To the rest of you necromancers, are you prepared to die here today? Uh, you see one human look at you. If that's what it takes. <sighs> I'm doing an insight check on him. You most certainly can. I'm gonna do it. You, oh my god. You insight. Oh! You insight, <laughs> and there is passion in this voice. There is belief. Uh, there is confidence. Uh, I don't feel bad then. It's not and, a natural twenty, by oh. the way. But yeah, but and, still, that's really nice. That's nice to see. I'm sure that one of you says this, but I'm going to give the rest of you a chance right now. Can I like you can draw oh. both of my swords to like add to an intimidation tactic? Just be like, you I'd most certainly you can. I'd suggest you will make the right choice. The last band we ran into, none made out alive. I once again um, scream down to Bloodstride. Six words, Dick Van Dead. Well, they're all doing shenanigans. I'm just going to really quick um, use my uh, telepathic uh, feet. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm basically just going to specifically just tell Nathaniel... They are very dedicated to the cleft, so much so that they are, in fact, willing to die for it. It will be very difficult to do this peacefully. But can I respond? Oh. Yeah, I think you can. can telepathic, I the telepathic feet, I believe you're establishing a mental connection. Yeah, I'm establishing okay, a mental and connection, respond. and it's up as long as I can. It's up as long as I have it up, I believe. It does not give the ability to respond. Okay. Back. I cannot respond. I'm basically, I'm basically just like filling you in on what I'm seeing. Oh, and I'm just keeping I'm a very close eye. The aberrant mind. Yeah, yeah yes. using an aberrant mind. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sending allows you to respond, though. Yeah. But, yes. At what you say, Enoch, Bloodstride just lifts two hands up, uh, gesturing outwards uh, as if an open embrace. Who wishes to join the spine? And the rest of the citizens kind of talk amongst themselves, kind of looking back and forth. And Juliana just stares daggers. You can see that Lancel has a hand on his sword, ready to unsheath. I don't suppose my being like, hey, we killed the last group of people while she unsheathing my swords did much, or do I need to make a check? You can make an intimidation if you would like. Yes. Uh, Strength-based intimidation again. Let's yep, go. Yep. Roll me a strength. Ah, that's a 10. You can see that a few of the necromancers are shaking. You can see, but they're you can see that they are, with your insight as well, Renee, you can see that all of them are, like, holding steady. Mm hmm If it is a question, if it is a question of perception, then I would have those villagers who are doubting themselves know that this cult is responsible for destruction, death, throughout most of Belkins. And more importantly, to you, members of the cult, who may also be having doubts, but are afraid to say it. My name is Nathaniel Gainsby, the Witch-Taker Wizard of Belkinus. And if you do not leave right now, then I will take you too. Give me a persuasion followed with an intimidation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we love to see a king. Uh -huh. Persuasion, yeah. 19. Yeah, look at it. Intimidation, Ten. not that great. <laughs> Somehow I feel like those should be switched, but we are where but we are. But it's okay. <laughs> you can see that actually a few civilians are motioning a little bit towards 
the spine until you speak of what they've done, and then you speak your, you know, your promise, rather, to the spine of death, and they, you see a few of them are looking at each other, and they're nodding to each other, and they stay stalwart. But Bloodstride says nothing, and waits. I want to start approaching. They've had their six seconds. They've had their chance. Luna's going to start approaching. Okay. I will Why say, as here? you go there, these here two, here? these two necromancers step forward in front of Bloodstride, and you can see that bones from their helmet kind of protrude out and cover them like armor. Oh, so that's how it's going to be, huh? That's fine. Uh, since Stop. I was holding an attack action, mm-hmm. can I put one? Can I just put one in somebody? I'm going to say, is everyone in agreement to start fighting? I mean, I... If they start, then we will start. I yeah, would like to keep start, talking, start, but yeah. that's what they would want. Like, if the, if well, they choose I, to do so, we do. I do yeah. apologize. It just doesn't seem like talking's going anywhere. Yeah, no, I, like... When you go forward, I will tell... Like, I will yell for you to stop, but that doesn't mean you have to. Yeah, exactly. That's sort of like the same I mean, if you yell at her that to I'm stop, in. she won't. Yeah. Um, she will. She will stop approaching, but she's not putting her swords away, and Echo Dad is coming with her. Mm-hmm. Enoch, are you going to shoot? I hear... And- Nathaniel scream it. Hmm. The armor that they're wearing. Bloodstride had been following all of us. After two encounters, I'm sure that he knows at least a bit about what our capabilities are. It changed when you moved forward, which indicates, if I'm not mistaken... Bloodstride points to Nathaniel without saying anything, doing kind of like the, uh, you know, the mm-hmm. uh, Leonardo DiCaprio-like point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And smiles back at- without saying another word. You know, armor can be plenty strong, and you can still hack through it if you're strong enough. I look back at Juliana. She has she has pulled a lever, and her crossbow is armed. <laughs> I would like to ask why you're asking here of our places. Are you just going around recruiting? He he lifts two go? hands back and forth. <laughs> it's a simple demotivation tactic. Do it here where we are and we will be less enthused to continue. Ah, so I see, so you're trying to skip? Hmm. Pretty bad tactic when every time you show up, I just want to keep fighting you. I I stare back at Juliana, the people. She, she nods and kind of like does a little gesture with her hand and they all start to slowly back away into their houses, into the tavern. You know, I very much would consider this um, whatever you're trying to do if it weren't for the fact that you very much don't really care about the uh, little ones around you that you're basically using as this live meat shield. He gestures to Enoch, tilting his head and kind of uh, moves his hand like over over his neck a little bit forwards. It seems he wants to what speak. Is- I mean, it seems he wants to speak. Because he's doing like a gesture sp- as if, like, like he wants the to hand speak going to Enoch, outwards like from you, his mouth. Come here. He was talking before, though. Wasn't uh, he? After he said his six words, he has not said a single oh, thing. Ah, you I understand <laughs> now. <laughs> he's asking he's for permission, you he's cheeky bastard. You cheeky bitch. Yeah, I still I like, like him. Guy. I like him so much. I do, too. I uh, Brene just like him. sighs and, like, he, he, looks over at Enoch, like, let, like, are you going to shoot the motherfucker or are you going to let or are we going to talk? I'm I am waiting for as many people to get away from this area as possible. Yep. And the standoff and, uh, if that is the case, the standoff does take like a minute or two, and he sits there and allows people to to exit or exit the area, go find shelter, go into the tavern. Man of honorable fighting, at least. And the location clears of all civilians. Thank God, honestly. <laughs> the last thing we need is them being able to, like, that we don't need them to be able to Nathaniel the NPCs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's not. I'm gonna start looking I... at all of these creatures, all these people, the necromancers. Mm-hmm. 
They're creatures. You can They're, see, yeah. yeah, they are a variety of different races. You see a few humans, elves, a drow in there, an orc, and a halfling. Uh, Okay. I'm less worried about that, but their armor moved when Luna w- went forward. Yes. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Armor doesn't normally do that. It does so I'm not. I'm roll perception if that is all right to see if there's anything else about them. Namely, if any of them have rings, Ooh. that would make it harder for me to do my job. You most certainly can. And that oh. is a natural 20. That is a natural 20. <laughs> oh. You look over them, and you do not see any rings. Uh, actually, while you were w- before, you know, you you watched over them. You do remember that looking over them, kind of like Sherlock Holmes visions flash before you, kind of looking over the robes. They did not wear any rings, although right now their hands are covered by bone gauntlets. Um, when the armor moved, did it seem like it was something magical to me, or did it seem? Oh, it, it uh, looked it looked magical. It extended out like Iron Man suit. Okay, so ah. I think I, I think I know what they did. I think player Shelby knows what they did. Luna has no fucking idea though. I look over towards Nathaniel and I look back down at Bloodstrud. I'm gonna give you one last opportunity to reconsider your position at this moment. If you hand yourself over to the authorities now, I will put into serious consideration that at least this can be done peacefully. If not, and I cock the gun back, we are going to have an issue. You may speak. He smiles a bit, and he bows. Oh. (laughs) Ah, Thank you for being so cooperative and willing to be diplomatic. I love him. I simply wanted to say my piece. Unfortunately, six words is not enough. But I thank you for allowing me such privilege. And... No, don't you do it. He shouts out with thaumaturgy. Uh, thaumaturgy. Oh, motherfucker. Village of Rogawood. I am come in peace seeking kinship. Necromancy is not an abomination, but merely a natural part of magic thereby a natural part of the world. I have little doubt that some among you have necromatic talents within you. Look how these people villainize us merely because of a word of law. And he gestures to all of you. Word of law? You think that's why I'm villainizing you? I'm villainizing you because you almost killed a a 10-year-old two days ago. I call forth any who wish to leave this oppressive toil to join with me, blood stride, and walk in the path of the Black Vein Queen, that you may ascend to her greatness. When he says this, he locks eyes with you, Enoch. Just looking at Nathaniel, right. like, can I please? Oh, yes, we should all join the Necromancer Guild. It is such a wonderful idea, such camaraderie, you know, especially when at the moment of danger or at the moment of testing and hoping that you will come and be there with them, fighting with them. No, instead you let them fucking die. You can see while you're talking that he is doing like a a mouth yapping motion with his hand. Oh, you motherfucker. Have you also told oh, them how you expect them to use scrolls to kill themselves if they fail? You see one of the necromancers, not Bloodstride, speak up. A small price to pay. An alternative option, then. With the exception of Bloodstride. Because unfortunately, <laughs> our, I don't think you would take it either way, either way. But our personalities are a bit too different for this to work. Those of you that are in the cult most likely seem like there is no other. That's why you have the scrolls, and as you said, you seem so eager to use them when you think you're caught. So I offer you a different solution. Join me. Join my investigation services. I'll make sure that you're... You are cut off mid-sentence as a loud, ear-piercing screech travels across the sky. Oh God! Ah! No, Excuse no, me! No! 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 And a no. figure. No. A figure slams into the ground. <gasps> right mm-hmm. about here, cracking 
the stone oh, no. path. What is uh, oh no? Uh, I don't know what I'm not saying, but I hate that no, it's being no. described. I'm panicking. I have two this sounds like and an I do angel. Not like either of them. And, and, and I don't like that idea. <laughs> and you see a humanoid rise up as the clouds start to cover the sky <gasps> as a large armored figure appears. Oh, no, it's no, 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 no. Shit, I it's it. him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, we are the... Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this also done by Kate? This oh, was shit. done by Kate. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, the Dude, sexy. Okay. You know, and immediately, the necromancers it, but... start blasting, and I'm gonna need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, Jesus. Can I, I still I had make my there. health attack action? Uh, yes, you may. Uh, once everyone rolls initiative, where your your thing is gonna spring off the first thing. Okay. Oh you know, God. I was sitting here. I, I thought, okay, so if we run into Thorn, I could probably t take him. No, 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 more armor than me. <laughs> uh, let me see. Thorn is the big bad boy. I ain't messing with that shit. I mean, I absolutely want to mess with that shit no, because no, I'm no. a horrible person. Feelings. <laughs> <laughs> no. ah, I'm so proud. Okay, All listen right. here. All right, Luna's not smart. Let her do them. <laughs> Luna, I swear to God. Okay, I got to roll initiative for everybody. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I seem. I thought I made one. I, it seems that I have forgotten to make a token for Thorn, so Thorn is just going to be a square of art right there. That's no! okay. We like right. the square. I yeah, fix no, this. it's fine. <laughs> I you, you use the square for now. Be use a square. square. Yep. See if I care. <laughs> oh, look at Thorn. He he's not like the other boys. Look at him. Look, Thorn's yeah. such a square. <laughs> I will fix this. I am all about Thorn. I want to get to know everything about Thorn. I've only seen one image of Thorn, and I would die for them. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry if we kill them. No. Okay. You're not so the first one right. up, uh, the first thing that happens is Enoch. Your uh, action springs. What do you do? All right. Uh, objection. Winging shot. This motherfucker. Which one? Uh, Bloodstride. Bloodstride. Okay. Oh. Bloodstride. Interesting choice. Bloodstride casts shield and ping. Oh, motherfucker! The bullet. God. Disintegrates and his armor has been increased until his turn. Oh, wait, I still have my inspiration from. Oh no, wait, that would have gone. That wouldn't matter. Overnight. I don't think yeah. a shield. Yeah, save it, save it for a rainy day. Oh. All right, and first up right. will be Nathaniel. Oh God, I just finished the token though. Uh, <laughs> send it over. <laughs> I sent. It, I, I put it in in the Discord. I hey, love awesome. them. Oh God, God, look at them. Look at that. <laughs> oh God, it's not perfect, but I'll. You know what? We can't have. Sometimes we can't have perfection. So while you're doing that, I will g give the chat something to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, first things first. Uh huh. Everybody here. Let's see. I can only do this with four people, so it's going to have to be a choice of. All right. I bring my hands up, and as the lines of pink white energy shoot out, they will connect with Luna, Enoch, Renee, and Lancel. Uh, and I will I, I will pull them forward towards the fight as I cast my mantle. Oh, oh yeah, let's my go mantle. Thing you do. Da, 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 da. Remember I your love five mantle. temporary HP. Remember, you, as a reaction, no, you can move you up that? to your speed. <laughs> Luna, yes. why would you do that? Yes. <laughs> you know exactly <laughs> why I'm doing this. Why All you of you can do this. <laughs> you know why I'm doing this. Okay. You know. But I can't do anything now. <laughs> it's fine. Ah. My turn is before yours. You can move. It's fine. I'm gonna just. Yes, but all my stuff is AOE! It'll be fine! Ah. I have to beat the shit out of Bloodstride. I, I have missed my opportunity twice now. God, I'm and, aware, but also fuck! And <laughs> as I back up while I presume Lancel is moving forward, I will turn to say to him, Now is your time to impress me. Mm -hmm. You see a smile, Ooh. and he unsheaths his sword and runs forward. Justice! And he runs oh. up to this human. Oh, oh I love him. So He's such a good boy. My poor, stupid boy. Oh, he, he speaks my language. That's a drow, right? That is a human. The blue one is a drow. That, oh, well, that blue one I'm going to ignore entirely. Uh, is that a goblin? Uh, the yellow, so That's yellow an means elf. it's an elf. Yeah, uh, elf. The oh, green I one over goblin. here is an orc. The light green one over here is a halfling. 
Oh, it's halfling. Yeah. Okay. So that's a human then. Yeah. The uh, yeah. the yeah the neutral skin colored one. That one is a human. Got it. Understood. Uh, in that case, uh, I am going to look over towards the human and I am going to bring down my glasses as I tell him, "Look into your heart. You know this is a lost cause. Take my amnesty. Fight for us." And I cast suggestion. Nice. A okay. suggestion ruined if they take damage. Yes. Yes. Fuck. Well, if if we attack them, it's not if they take damage. It it is if it's... one of us beats the shit out of them. Does yeah. So that... don't be the shit out of that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to know if I need to know if that counts with like uh, area of effect. Yes. Well, throwing fireball at them also counts. <laughs> well, I think it's just like she wants to set herself on fire. Uh, which... uh, <laughs> luckily, you won't have to worry about that because they make the save. Okay. Oh, they shake it off and they they shake it off and they stalwart and hold steady, ready, just blasting at uh, Thorn. Disappointing. And I back up. Okay. All right. That's my turn. Smart boy. Luna, you're right in the thick of things. Yeah. I Into am. the thick of I, it. I think you know the the chain of events that's about to go down. Radiant consumption going okay. up. Burn everything. Enoch, please don't get any closer to me or you will burn too. Um, I'm all range, baby. I can't go that close. Echo Dad's going here. Since I don't hey. think he can move. I don't know. Could you argue he could move to this area? He could. He was like right here. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, I'll take that flank. Echo Dad right there. Uh, burning my action surge to get my action back because radiant consumption really should be a bonus action, but it's not. Uh, yes, this bright the... light burns away at the robes a bit, and blood it uh, does burn away at Bloodstride, but he stays there unflinched. Yep, uh, Bloodstride's about to get smacked, where I'm going to attempt. I know he has a shield on him still, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm unleashing an incarnation to take two smacks. Ooh, all right. Retribution, 10. Unfortunately, not, not enough. It pings Absolute off of this. Absolute 23. Ooh. That is enough. The first one pings, and the other one catches him in the back. And he does stumble a little bit, but he holds steady and tries to keep, you know, his gaze at you. Yep. That's my turn. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, wait. I have an extra bonus action. I want to confuse him a little bit. Let's uh, switch places with Shadow Dad. Ooh. Bang! <laughs> this does nothing, right but it here. looks cool. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> Am I here or am I here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool, and I had a bonus action to spend, so why the fuck not? Yeah, listen. He tilts his head a bit. Oh, fancy trick. Renee, your turn. Hello, yes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try and see if I can get some of these boyos uh, out of the way. So that is a 20 foot radius. Uh, I'm going to shatter these motherfuckers. Ooh. Do it. Nice, nice. I'm going to shatter them. Hot to tattoo can. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Oh, that, that was the is, worst. That was a very poor that was roll. A very bad oh, shatter. That was a very God. bad shatter. What that's the fuck, shatter? Two ones. That two, two ones. ones. That, that is... can do an upwards of twenty-four damage. <laughs> and I got six. Wow. And I'm so sad. <laughs> roll twenty. Roll twenty. What the? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's roll twenty or D and D Beyond. Either way, I'm a little bit upset, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, a loud crack appears right where you point, and the, the necromancers um, seem unfazed. Oh, they'll die. I'm so upset. <laughs> Me, myself, and I are very upset. Well, they but, still take half um, damage, right? Oh, yeah, they take half yeah, damage, so half all damage. of three points. All of three points. I'm doing a really good job, you, you guys. guys are chipping, chipping away at their HP. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. well, I mean, like, these two had already taken, like, three three burnings, um, so, mm -hmm. you know, three more damage on top of that is a lot for NPCs. This boyo or this boyo? Who do I want to make it easier to convince to murder? <laughs> Maybe not um, the one that's constantly taking damage around me. <laughs> yeah, probably not that one. Um, well, this guy just got hit, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go. He's going to be fighting that dude, so that's fine. But actually, he's... Easy point. I'm actually going to um, go to this dude, and I am going to cast my, um, where is it? Unsettling Words. Ooh. As a bonus action, Ooh. I can spend one of my bardic inspiration and choose one creature I see within 60 feet. I roll my bardic inspiration die 1d6, and the creature must subtract the number rolled from their next saving throw before the start of my next turn. Ooh, it's like bardic mm. bane. 
Yeah, it's Bardic uh-huh. Bane. It's so, one of the reasons why that bard is like next, such a broken bard. Yep, the next time that he has to make a saving throw, it is going to be... It's, uh, every time he makes a saving throw until the start of my next turn, it's a minus of three. Wow. Okay, well. So, yeah. And I'm going to uh, stay crouched behind this rock where I am safe. <laughs> Sweet. I forgot. But to also, take kind of shout out, like, we might have a problem! <laughs> Just like, in general, because that motherfucker. Ooh, whoops! And that's oh, all I can do for my turn. All right. So, uh, next is Thorn in the Spine and pretty much everybody else's turn. Speaking, uh, speaking of them, I'm so sorry. My radiant consumption damage is actually increased, so they all should have taken four. And oh, not that's three right. It's based on your level. Although, yeah, they do take four. I'm also taking more damage from my radiant consumption, so that's no! fun. <laughs> Yep, they all take four. And, yeah, so uh, just an extra point. So raise a glass for the level up. So first one that's going to go is uh, it's going to be Lancel who takes a sword down and a big old strike down on this human. Hell yeah! And it's a solid hit. You hear a ping and it chops off uh, quite a bit of flesh. Uh, next is Juliana. You hear a whirling from her chair, <laughs> and you you <laughs> yes. see three. Uh, bolts fire off from her side crossbow phew, 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 into yes. the same target that uh, Lancel is hitting. Why is she so oh. fucking cool? She's so cool. Hey, yo, that's hot. What's it, Lancel? Why can't you be like the wheelchair woman? <laughs> your brain's trying his best. Leave your son alone. Oh Leave my your God. son alone. Two, <laughs> two of them are dodged. One of them land in the shoulder. Don't talk to your son ever again. <laughs> This human is near death. <laughs> Don't talk to my son ever. And Thorn. Just ever. Thorn hovers like a like at the speed of sound, just phew, up to this oh. halfling, takes their axe, and in one swift slice cuts them in two. Oh. Oh my just god. Him? It's the I... Black Knight from Fire Emblem Path Listen, of Radiance. I Listen. love that. I suggest we run! Listen, or Berserker I'm not from Fate Zero. I'm not interacting with him, but I'm going to keep trying to kill Bloodshine. Valid, but also, please don't, please don't die! And now, Berserker from Fate a, Stay I Night. Have ban- I have a banishment crystal. I have a way to get him the fuck away from me. And now, the spine of death members. One of them casts on you, Luna. Blindness, deafness. You need to make a constitution <gasps> saving throw. Okay. 12? Not enough. You are oh, blinded. No. You cannot no. see. Who and, did this? Uh, this was the orc right here. Understood. And Motherfucker. It, all of your attacks uh, have a disadvantage. Okay. How long does it last? Uh, la, 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 la. You make another one at the end of your turn. Cool. Oh, you are lucky that I got another. Oh, you are lucky. And these two flanking the echo, they both form a uh, kind of like bony claws from their fingers and slash and the the echo dissipates but I guess we can just keep it on the board if you're going to summon it next turn I absolutely I'm just I, he's, he's not I'll put a, like a little condition on him yeah. so that we, no, we know I want to see there. it gone <laughs> no <laughs> you're breaking my immersion there we go he's gone for now and these three start summoning no oh Oh fuck! What? I think that that I think that blindness deafness might have just taken out Sentinel because I have to be able to see them. Oh, you <laughs> motherfucker! Uh, and three skeletons appear: one Ow. by Enoch, no. one by Renee, no. and one Actually, by Lancel. It does not say anything about sight. When a Yay. creature within five <laughs> feet of you makes an attack against a, a target, would you count that as an attack? It is Summoning not. They are casting a spell. Damn it. So it's not, oh, yeah, it's not inflicting damage. Yep. Damn it's just it. they're, they're, not make, they're, boys they're not making an attack to, roll, so yeah. It is good to know, though, that <laughs> yeah. Sentinel now, is some, not... Now, some spells do know. proc Sentinel if they roll an attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, mm-hmm. no, it's good to know that me being blind or deaf doesn't defeat Sentinel. I and wasn't sure if it was a sight thing or not. The mm-hmm. skeletons start to swipe, and Renee and Enoch, you both take two damage. They start to swipe at you with their bony claws. That was, that was half of Renee's entire hitbox. Holy shit. No, that was only two points. That's, I, I, that's I, I, was, I, know, I was saying you were squishy. Oh, it doesn't even get you through baby. your temporary HP. 
It's fine. I'm fine. Listen. And that's dirty. Bloodstride is going to cast a Misty Step. Oh, you motherfucker. God and, damn it. And he I'm will me. vanish and appear over here. I know exactly what spell I want, you motherfucker. I'm going to come for you when I'm <laughs> high enough level. And that is their turn. Enoch, just, your turn. Just wait till we have counter spell in our side. Exactly. <laughs> that's all I want. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, I know I can. I know I can do something. And uh, all right, I am going to cast my first level spell, Expedious Retreat. Ooh. Which Ooh. basically, uh, basically, it allows me to. Uh, it allows me to take a dash action. Ah, uh, you can. Uh, you basically have cunning action dash. Nice. Yeah. For ten minutes. So it is concentration. Turns you into a rogue for 10 minutes. Nice. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> I believe it is pronounced expeditious. Uh, yeah, it is expeditious, ex but I like expeditious better. Expeditious? Expeditious. Yeah. Expeditious, yeah. expeditious retreat. So I'm going to yep. put a little clock and on you. Whenever you take damage, you will have to roll for concentration. Okay. Oh, that's a cool no. way of doing it. And then... Yeah. I should probably mark that I am blind. Ah, uh, yeah. Then, uh, oh, yeah, here. I'm going to action surge. Basically, uh, action surge pull out the uh, the rapier, and then I'm going to stab this skeleton and then shoot at Bloodstride. Ooh, two attacks. All right, show me both attacks. All right, so... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, so... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It went through his bones. <laughs> Let me roll for severity. <laughs> the rapier, the rapier does go through its bones, and the skeleton mo like moves its ribs in a way that disarms you, and your rapier falls to the floor. You will need a bonus action to pick it back up. <gasps> well, it's a good thing uh, you just action surge, so you have a bonus yeah, so action now. Still have a yeah, you well, either my bonus, my bonus uh, action uh, with my firearm is unfortunately I have to uh, follow uh, through with this attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, oh because the only way that I can use this feature is if I make a melee attack and then a firearm attack. Action search does not provide a bonus action. Doesn't I, it? I it does not. I swear to God, oh. it does. I, I promise yeah. you it does not. Uh, I, it's you not that I don't believe you. You action of your regular action Correct. any possible bo bonus action. It says it right there. <laughs> yes, but yeah. it, it is saying in addition to your normal action and possible bonus oh. action. Oh. In addition to your... Okay, oh. that is worded yes. strange. Fuck, because I should not have been it, able. I should not have yeah. been able to uh, to uh, yeah. do, do my switcheroo with my dad, but it doesn't really. Oh, well, matter, well we it? know we know that yeah. now. Yep, for we'll know for the future. Oh well. I did not know that. It's worded That's... that way because there's n it's not like a, a guarantee that you'll have a bonus action to use on your turn, but it's kind right. of dumb because everybody it's has bonus really, actions. The That's way stupid. that is written is it yep. very much yeah, gives dumb. you the indication yeah. that I, you get a bonus I see action. what they're going yeah. for. They're trying to make it clear, but I think it just That's makes dumb. it even less clear. <laughs> then, very dumb. then, Joe, if I can make the, the right decision to just using objection only then. Um, yes, and if you want to pick up your rapier. Uh, okay, yeah. No use of the rapier at that point. I'm just, I just need to fire. Uh, fire, fire, fire. Uh, let's fire, try fire. Hopefully not miss. Uh, mm, yes, this fires off and kind of pings off of one of the shoulders and kind of shifts Bloodstride's kind of stature a little bit, almost like spinning him like a top as he is slowly hovering. All right, the first time this, this shot has ever connected with him before. Nice. And I'm just... That is Basically, decent damage. Pointy, I am not shooting at the skeleton. I'm pointing through the skeleton. Yep. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, imagine just because I know the it's the skeleton's mouth and fired out the back of his head. <laughs> imagine, oh God, imagine. as much as I would have loved that, but I can't. Mm -hmm. All right, so gun goes, uh, just basically cha ching bang, and knocks, uh, knocks a bit on. Uh, on the man, and that's all I. Oh no, wait, no, I still have. Oh no, wait, I can't use uh, Expedius. Damn. Or uh, just if you yet, are, so I will. If you are picking up your rapier, are you picking up your rapier? That will use your bonus action. It was a bonus uh, action to cast Expeditious Retreat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, never mind. So, yeah, never mind. So that's why I switched to the gun. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just using the sword. So sword stays put. Okay. There we go. Uh, are you moving at all? Uh, I'm kind of, you don't I'm kind to. of putting myself as the body between me and 
and Juliana. Because I don't want this. Just Protect met. the lady. Yeah. Nathaniel, your I'm turn. Go- I'm- I will take a step out of my hiding spot. Who would like to move? Uh, Juliana I'm speaks up. Trying. I would like to move so that I may show them my crossbow at point blank range. Fuck. That's a terrible idea, but I will trust you. <laughs> uh, I am going to. Has Lancel been injured? Has he been hit at all? Uh, a little bit. He doesn't look too bad. He's a good. He has boy. been hit by How the skeleton, Luna? same as uh, everybody else. Um, Luna's out of range. Fuck Luna. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's also blind, so you know it's fine. And and that, I think it's alright, babe. I got you. Yep. In that case, no, just blind. Uh, in that case, I have my choices. Uh, as I walk out from this large tavern, I'm going to, with my left hand, continue using my mantle of inspiration, just spinning my hand, twisting all of the wires that connect now with Enoch, Juliana, Lancel, and myself. Your temporary HP is refreshed, and you may use your reaction, if you would like, to move up to your speed. Nice. It is still five, so it's not whatever you had before plus five. It just becomes five again. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, I'm I'm still going to body this thing. And then... Juliana rolls up to the other side and takes a hook, her hook hand, onto her crossbow and lifts it up and points it at the skeleton. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Let me see it firsthand. Um, I will accept let's this. Let's hope she doesn't miss and hit you. Oh, no. If it hits me, it will be the greatest thing ever. Listen, he'll be shot through the heart and she's to blame. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> Get out. I'm going to- yes, please. <laughs> I am now going to look at Bloodstride and I will say... I don't suppose you worried about the axe murderer that fell from the sky? Oh no, now I can study it even more. With them so busy with my students, perhaps I can get a little bit more information out of them. Fantastic. I'll help you stay here then. And I raise my hand, and as I do, I reach into his mind, and I'm going to turn off the part that controls motor function, and I cast Hold Person. <laughs> yeah. As you reach into uh... his mind... You are or you are stopped by a simple snap of his, his fingers, and he counterspells you. You motherfucker! I'm ah! gonna get that spell, and I'm going to kick your fucking ass. I'm sorry, I hate him. That's unfortunate. <laughs> wait until I get fu- fucking. That wait until is his I get. reaction, though, guys. Remember that is his reaction. It is his reaction. I know, is his but reaction. I hate him. Notice he that can't... he did not cast shield this time when Enoch shot him. <gasps> That's Hello? unfortunate. You can't fault me for trying. Ah. Uh, I like your methods. Perhaps we can have a cup of tea when this is over. Why not now? The tavern's over there, and everyone else is preoccupied. He he chuckles a little bit. Is that your turn, Nathaniel? Yes, that is my turn. Luna, your turn. You are blinded. Okay, I imagine she, like, puts herself really low to the ground because she can't see, so she's just relying on hearing, and I'm going to take a bap at the person to my left because that's who I remember being there. Okay, you may roll at disadvantage. (laughs) All right, well, good thing I always have the toggle on for this very situation, Chad. Uh, <laughs> oh, 12. 12 is not enough, unfortunately. You swing and a miss. All right, well, Echo Dad's going to come up beside me. Bonus action, bring out my Echo Dad. Where? Echo Dad, come come here. He's just going to be right there, right there Dad. in the middle. I just need him beside me to get through this. And uh, yeah, Lynn's just staying low to the ground, and that's her turn. Okay, you may make your uh, another uh, con save to try and get rid yes. of the blindness. Yes. 14. That will be enough. Your blindness is gone. Okay. All right. Whichever one oh, of you did space. that is really going to regret it. <laughs> the, the, uh, you can see that they're just kind of looking and they're shaking their heads at who to they're take the blame. They're also all burning. They're also all burning. Ah, that's right. They are burning. They take an additional I, four damage. Uh, I also take an additional two damage because I keep forgetting to take my radiant consumption damage. Okay. Next, Renee. Um, I know there's an elf in this range, but I kind of do not give a single fuck because the radius is very big and it'll help me learn what this guy is and what this guy is. So I am going to cast my first level sleep. (laughs) Casting sleep. Oh, boy. We're casting sleep. Sleep every session. I don't care. Every sleep session. every session. Sleep every so session. So I will roll my 5d8. Very 21. nice. 21. That's not bad. With a 21, only a single person um, is slept. That's fine. But basically, like, I'm aiming for all of these folks to get ski rude. I know that there's an elf in there and they're not going to take effects, which is fine. I need to know if this boy is t- doing anything or if it affects this boy. The, the orc probably, falls yeah. asleep. Okay, that's fine. Oh, does that oh. end Luna's blindness? My blindness was already oh, over. Yeah, because yeah, Luna succeeded the thing. 
Um, the only thing is that on Luna's next turn, he'll probably he'll probably just wake back up because he's gonna, he's burning. But does it affect any uh, the other boyos, or uh, is it, it just the not. one? Damn it! But I'm upset. yes, the, the orc is asleep. But you know, while it's asleep, it's incapacitated, so you know, attacks. Uh, auto you're within that. forty feet of me. I'm 21. gonna enjoy that. You are within forty feet of me. Um, I need to look at my bonus action thingy again. I'm going to do unsettling words on um on Bloodstride. Fuck it. Oh, not as much. God damn it. On Bloodstride. Okay. Yeah. And... Magic Bane, motherfucker. <laughs> uh is that an attack or is that a saving throw? No, it's just a saving throw. The next time that he makes oh, a saving that, throw, that, he'll see, be a minus two. From, right, yep. right, 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 right. It, it subtracts from whatever saving throw he has to make next. So this guy has a minus. Oh, wait. The one on this guy is gone I guess, now, I guess. Okay. But he's sort of going to be fighting until he can't fight anymore, which is fine. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, I also, you know what? I'll, I probably could take the the one hit. I just don't like being near a skeleton. Yep. So. <laughs> I do. I prefer not to be around a skeleton. All right. Um, I'm going to move over five, ten, skeleton. twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm going to move over to this side of the house. Okay, you will take an attack of opportunity. That's fine. I'll take it. It swipes at you I, again, and you take another two damage. Owie, that's Just fine. I, that's not even. Back of your head I still you have. Ran. I still have one temporary HP left. I'm golden. I'm just like keeping my cut, eye. G. Yeah, All right. I'm keeping my eye on this boyo and this boyo, and I'm staying the fuck away from whatever that is. Next is the Spine of Death and everybody else. So first, Juliana uh, goes to the skeleton, hands off, good man, and you can see her. Uh, oh. She shakes, she shakes her crossbow with her hook hand a little bit, and ka-chunk, ka-chunk, it turns. Uh, kind of sideways into what looks like a pick, and she thrusts it down and crushes the skeleton down its center. I love her. Oh my god! Oh, I love her. So, man, you know, that's hot. Just fell in love. That's cool. that's hot. Yeah, no, no. As this thing falls to the ground, I'm heart in the eyes, <laughs> I, like slow motion, like bones flying everywhere. <laughs> and now Enoch understands why Scorpio is with Luna. <laughs> <laughs> it's the heist. And <laughs> let's see. Stole my heart like a thief in the night. This my spine God. of death member is going to rearrange, and these three summon three more skeletons. No. This one. I really, we really Renee. need to get these guys out of the way. Uh, see here. Is it not showing up? Okay, I guess I gotta. So Please this. Stop! This one moves over no! uh, about here. Another one appears at your side. No! This is the best! One appears uh, beside Lancel, and another behind Luna. Luna, you are trapped from all sides. You cannot move <laughs> out of there. Um, actually, fine. no, no, they're diagonals. Never mind. Yeah, well, and yeah, no, no, and I won't be for long because Echo Dad's gonna move. Yep, yep. And uh, they both take a swipe at Lancel, and Lancel's taking a beating, but he takes out his sling and th throws what looks to be a glowing rock at this elf, and he is going to cast. Cast? Tale of Thorns. As the projectile, oh, the projectile hits no. this, this uh, elf, and it fires out several other bright stones into these other necromancers. Lancel! So I'm sorry. Damn. Did you think my I child wouldn't be a caster? I love your child! <laughs> I I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm just being honest. I wasn't sure. The question now him. is what kind? And now, uh, before this elf has a chance to cast anything, Thorn rushes up once again, hovering at mighty speed and cuts it down in a single swipe, in half, Jesus! horizontally this time. <laughs> so I think we should probably use this to our advantage for now, yes? And, oh, uh, yeah, after the time the being, yes. He's after the necromancers and, and not us, so keep doing what you're doing, dear. You're doing fine. And Bloodstride <laughs> is gonna look at you, Nathaniel, and he says, oh yes, perhaps you should actually go into the tavern. You look a bit parched. And he's gonna cast Blight on you. Oh, fuck. You stay away! <laughs> and I'm gonna need you oh, <laughs> to make a constitution saving throw. Oh. No! Understood. 
I will be what? rolling with advantage as he is triggered oh, yeah. my yawn tea magical resistance. Mm, will you now? All right, let's Hopefully. see. Oh, Luckily God. for him, constitution's my worst stat. I know. No. <laughs> An 11 just, is not die? enough. I think let's I died. See. Let's see. No, you did not. Let's see if you can handle 8d8. No, 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 let's no, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to uh, have to run through several people to get to blood strike. God damn it. <laughs> I, I hate this because I'm right in line of sight. This is right. Oh, no. You take 37 points of damage. Uh, I call this move being fucking dead. <laughs> As you feel uh, I'm, I'm not the, dead, the moisture in your body evaporate and you fall to the floor gasping. <laughs> Was that enough to instant kill you or are you just no, making no, I'm not instant. I'm not instant kill. Oh, oh my god! Don't say that! <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure he didn't just take double his HP. The motherfucker has a negative in con. Look at him. Oh my and god. And at this, you can god. see that uh, Lancel sees this. No! And uh, oh. this oh drow will... Sorry, there's a lot of there's a lot of Spine sorry. of Death members. All good. It's all good. Take your time. You got the hardest job here, man. <laughs> I... I'm going to go so feral. This drow. So, did you summon Echo Dad again? Echo Dad is right there. Yes. Drow uh, is going to, with its heavy armor, going to move out of the way, and uh, Echo Dad has an attack of opportunity. If you would like. Echo Dad is taking that attack of opportunity. Right. It is my reaction, but Echo Dad is taking the opportunity. Show me the attack. Attack. Fifteen. Ooh, yes, that cuts right through this bone armor. Just. Poof, and does a so bit what, nine, of damage. Nine damage? Nine damage. Nine damage. That is a decent amount. However, it's still standing, and it goes up to Enoch. Uh, wait, wait. Doesn't doesn't Sentinel? Do you want? Keep oh, it. ah, yes. Sentinel does keep it still. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, Echo Dad goes to cut at the back of the leg and knocks off a chunk of the bone armor, cutting into the tendon. You're not going anywhere. Not that easy. And, uh, oh yeah, the skeletons, that's right. Uh, Renee, you take- the Skeleton uh, warriors. Skeleton okay. warrior. Renee, you take four listen, points of damage. I'm, I'm fine with that one. I Listen, I'm golden. And Do Luna. I'm fine. AC 17. Yes, you take two points of damage from this skeleton. Oh, Got a very okay. lucky roll. Okay. I'm still fine. Oh yeah, they're, they're just slowly chipping. <laughs> Enoch, I'm still the love so of your fine. life had just cut down a skeleton in front of you. <laughs> I, uh, Joe, I messaged you something. Oh, okay. I yeah. just, oh my god, if a bard could rage. <laughs> Wait, you need, to take bard... a level. you need to take a level in Barbarian I'm, just to make sense. Listen, seven. just for that one, <laughs> if a bard could <laughs> rage. Oh my god, yeah, I am going to go feral. Yeah. Uh, you know. At the very least, you're within distance, easy. So that's good. That's mm -hmm. very good for me. Mm -hmm. After even watching all of that, he sees Nathaniel drop to the ground and he takes off his hat and he looks towards Juliana. I'm really sorry. And throws the hat to the ground and he's going to walk up to Nathaniel. He's going to pump him of he's going to pump him with the uh, da -da -da. What was it? No, it's, it's an awesome art thing. Uh, healing hands, four hit points. Mm, is that your bonus Nathaniel. action? <laughs> Which should bring him back up. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bonus action. Yeah. Nathaniel, all you see are bright, glowing, geared eyes, and they track right onto Bloodstride. Oh, Kim, get the necromancers. <laughs> Not a word trades back. And Enoch, let's go. Uh, yep. Enoch. Right, that's the end of his action. Oh, oh, that was an action. Was it? All right. Have we lost Joe? Hello. We might have lost Joe. Did we we do him? not have Joe anymore. Oh, hold on one All second. Right. Oh, no. uh, oh, this is my stream now. Hello, oh, hello, hello. Oh, no. There you are. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I accidentally messed with Debbie something. Debbie. I accidentally messed with something on the uh, chat. You can still hear me, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I accidentally messed with something on my um, on my uh, little compressor audio thing. Oh. But okay. Uh, okay. 
So that uh, that healing hands that was a full action. Healing yeah, hands an is an action. action. Is an action. Okay. And are you yep. doing your thing then, uh, Enoch? Joe. Yeah. You know exactly what this is. Enoch, let's go. He lets go, and you guys see as the gears appear around him etherically, as his wings burst out from his back, his eyes glow up bright white, and you hear an etherical voice similar to his, and you hear the voice speak out at a different tone than you've heard, Enoch. May the builder have mercy on your soul, sinners. Pardon? <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon? Excuse my eyes me? Wide, my eyes widen. The drunk man. <laughs> Nathaniel, <laughs> your turn. Before my turn, after re this sudden realization about Enoch, all of the all of the the evidence has clicked together. I understand what's happening here as much as I need to. My attention turns to Bloodstride. And you think that I can be felled by the every two-bit mage that comes my way, and I snap at him, and as I do, I am casting Mind Sliver. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Banana man. And that's the that's the runaway man. one, right? Or no, that's just that is the not. normal damage. That's okay. The, that's that is that is, that is your brain one. Yeah. So if he fails, uh, then he's going to have a d4 subtract, uh, subtracted from his next save. Oh, which okay. I believe he already has. From, he already has uh, minus two. two. And mm -hmm. that minus two is just enough as you, he, his, yes! his uh, stalwart yes! facade drops as he grabs, he reaches his hand to his head. Ugh! This is why we work together. Hey. He'll have a minus four on his next uh, saving throw, and yes, as his eyes are closed, his head, er, his hands are on his head, and he is distracted. My form melts away, leaving only the hat behind. What? And I cast Misty Step. Oh, <laughs> you motherfucker! Are you okay? Nice. Uh, disappear behind these buildings. Oh, thank you for giving him that negative, because I'm about to do a thing. Oh my god. And now, uh, Luna, so your little, uh, your light goes off at the beginning of the turn? It end. I think we've, uh, end. Ruled. Okay, it's at the right, end. right, right. Okay. It's at the end. And I'm going to be foregoing the radiant damage because, uh, we're going to do a thing. So Echo Dad is going to take off, go about here. Because he has 30 feet of movement. Uh, I think. Hold on. Let me make sure I measured that right. Now that. Nope, just a little. One more closer. Luna is going to bonus action switch places. Perfect. No, he will take attack, one attack of opportunity moving there. That is. Yes, he will. Oh, you are lucky. That's a nat one. Just a swing yes! and a miss. Yes! That would have Good. ruined your plans. Good. I uh, would have. I would have been angry, but it's fine. Luna is going to switch places. Now, fun fact, when I switch places with Echo Dad, it only cost me half of my movement, so I still have 15 feet. Ah. I want to tackle Bloodstride. I want to grapple him. Okay, athletics. Yeah. don't waste my, my spine sliver. Athletics, <laughs> and he will do a... Damn it! Ooh. Fuck him up! I'm trying to hold him down. Yes. I'm trying to keep him from being able to get away. I can do that. You well, know, we can't have this conversation, so you're doing what you're doing, but God fucking damn it. I got a four on my mind sliver and you're using it? Yep, yeah, exactly. I saw you go down, buddy. I can hold person. I don't know that. Yes, I cast it. Oh, I guess it got counterspelled. It didn't work. Yeah, I got counterspelled. Okay. So we don't know that. I would know that, but I go right after, which sucks. Oh, that's a really shitty episode. So he's draw. got a minus six. <laughs> yep, come minus on. Total. Oh, oh, wait. Fail. Fail. Actually, wait, he has to make an athletics check? He, he does. does. This is not a saving throw, which means my mind sliver does not count. It's okay, a. Good. Ah, okay. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that it's was not a, It's yeah. not a. It, I forgot, it's not a saving throw, it's contested athletics. Yes, Either way. Con contested <laughs> athletics or acrobatics, and guess what he's going with? Uh, yeah, acrobatics. Athletics? I'm, I'm gonna still, guess athletics. I am still trying. Please. And unfortunately, he, he simply oh, sidesteps you. 
God damn it. Okay. All right. Well, that's my turn. I was going to be cool, but now he can't move away from me, I guess. Or Now you know how it sentinel. feels. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Uh-huh. I'll take the L. It's fine. I don't All always right. take it. So my minus two goes away because it's at the start of my next turn. So he now only has a total minus of four. Yep, yep. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, all of these lovely people are in such a lovely little square. Aww. They're in such a lovely little square. So we're going to try and hope that Shatter once more does not fuck up. Ooh, oh. all right. Show me the Shatter. They're in a... What the fuck? Ooh. What kind of ah, is ooh. that? Constitution? It's Two constitution. ones again. I'm Hot so damn. angry. Angry. Angie, Angie, right. The shatter goes <laughs> off. Angie, um, don't talk to Renee. Oh, wait, is this one of those that does damage either way? It does damage either way, yeah, so Echo Dad okay, goes okay. away. I'm Echo sorry. Is, Echo I'm Dad sorry, Echo. No, it's okay. I'm sorry Echo about Dad's Echo Dad. Gonna, it's okay. I can it's bring it back over in here. the next bonus section. I'm yeah. just trying to get as yeah, rid of as many folks as possible. Oh, good. There's no limit to Echo Dad. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I know. No, no, I'll bring it back on my next so, turn. It was going to be shatter, an ordeal getting here anyway. With this shatter, the skeleton instantly falls apart. Good. The orc is uh, crushed by this loud sound. He's dead. Good. Uh, how are these two? How are these folks doing? They're pretty rough. They're Good. pretty roughed up. How's Armor Good. Man doing? I don't give a fuck about Armor Man. He scares me too much. I, I want to know about Armor Man, god damn. Armor Maybe Man, you, you can't really tell because he's covered in armor. Mm -hmm. But uh, the armor is chipped and broken and very, very rough looking. Oh, oh, you mean Thorn. Yeah, Thorn. Oh, you hit Thorn. I did hit Thorn. And oh, Maybe he won't notice it was you. Listen, I he was in the line of fire. At that crackling Damn sound, shit. Thorn turns the helmet slowly to you, Renee. Oh, fuck. Listen, you know the most people! <laughs> Point at a skeleton, say it was them. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, you know the most people, okay? I am prioritizing! Next. Uh, is the spine of death and thorn? Action, and I'm gonna give inspiration to Luna. Fuck him up. Remember that scene in Avengers where Iron Man <laughs> punched the Hulk and the Hulk just spat out a tooth? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. That's a vibe I'm getting. <laughs> oh god! I'm so watched all the afraid. Avengers movies. So. Hi, if it means anything to you, Pointy, she's not with the necromancers. Keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Why is this? What do you think I tried to imitate all of the necromancers? This guy came from the sky. <laughs> I don't know I'm what so that. Like, I don't know we what the implications of that explicit. are. We were also pretty <laughs> explicitly told that he doesn't care what's in his way. That he's been like causing a lot of damage and Can casualties. He see? Yeah, I, I believe our, 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 our to get the other necromancers. Like, come on. Our specific was... orders were like, leave him alone because he'll one shot us. <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> but he was in the line of fire. It's okay. Right. And, and you know what? He'll say the same thing when guys, he kills guys, those guys. skeletons through you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, so it's yeah, NPC's yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, NPC's turn now. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bloodstride, I hate to do it to you, but Bloodstride, I Bloodstride looks to you and looks a little bit annoyed. And I wanted to have a simple conversation. And that a portal opens behind him. Coward! And there he, he, goes. he steps in mm -hmm. and waves. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Coward. Ollie's out like a motherfucker. This motherfucker blighted me when I said, let's go for tea. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck him. And uh, these necromancers uh, are going to summon more skeletons. Of course. Will you stop directing them at me? I already have two. You see one human just go, you're an easy target. I'm sorry. And another skeleton appears before you. Uh, Renee, oh, you take. I'm coming. I'm coming, Renee. It's Wait, fine. Which... I'm sorry. This is an actual question. Which human? I see like a lot of dead symbols. They're dying. They're dying. The skull. Dying. I put the skull to show that they're close to dying. Yeah, they're like very Understood. close. Like mm -hmm. this guy is dead. This Renee, guy... you take this six damage from all the skeletons around you. That's fine. I can take that. I can handle it. 
And I, one thing I can't I handle is this guy. Sure I should have also taken that damage because ah. I ended my turn near him. It ah. doesn't do anything, but I did burn you him. You did singe him a little bit. <laughs> yep, another skeleton appears around Lancel. Uh, and a skeleton appears. Oh god, Lancel's getting fucked up. <laughs> next to uh, Julianne. And Lancel is going to take one skeleton and throw it at the other skeleton. Yes! He grabs it by the leg, lifts it up, and bashes it into the other skeleton. And they both fall to the ground and crumble. Oh my god, Lancel! Hey, I remember love that you. scene from the Avengers with the Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> is Lancel the Hulk? Picking it up like <laughs> fucking Loki. Just I love wham, Lancel! Wham, wham. I was just looking like, for the gift. Just... God damn it! And this one is going to take a swipe at Julianne. It does, and yep, it swipes at her, cuts into her shoulder, and she goes, stupid dead body person, stop! <laughs> and is going to take her crossbow pick hybrid, swipe back, she misses. Uh, and this one is going to stomp on back over towards you, Luna, just boom, 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 and it's heavy. Uh, bone armor. Come for me. And takes both large bony hands and boom, slams them into the ground. I'm going to need you to make a dex save. A dex? Dex? Remember, you have bardic inspiration. I do, and I'm going to have to need it. I'm going to need it. Take it. I'm using it. Take the d6. Watch Give it be me. a one. <laughs> Fuck off, Debbie. Don't put that in the air. <laughs> All right, with a 13, 13 is just enough. You yeah! you are uh, able to avoid the ans uh, the additional effect, but you do take uh, five bludgeoning damage as the ground shakes beneath you, keeping oh. your legs wobbly. Did Thorn not? Wagon? No, no, I, I I did like a little. Uh, Actually, yeah, Thorn would have an attack of opportunity, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. Go off and go. Uh, it wouldn't matter. They missed. Valid. <laughs> That's okay. Damn. That's okay. This is the lowest Luna's, I think, been at all. Next! Honestly. Is Enoch in your new etherical form? You oh, do have control, but someone else is speaking their mind through you. Uh, yep. And... Like for your love. The, the gun, almost as, as easy as just, like, pushing through air, points at this skeleton. Oh, so close. <laughs> and for the damage, Ooh. and don't forget, big, if he's like this, uh, radiant, that's uh, radiant damage. Radiant damage. damage. Yeah. Yes, so you fire it off. And, and you hear an etheric voice, all of you hear an etheric voice coming from him without his mouth moving. Abominable filth. <gasps> the reverb. Oh, God. Oh! And you uh, fire it off, and it <laughs> straight into the skull of the skeleton, and it falls apart. And uh, you could you could see that Julia Juliana turns to you, and her eyes go wide, and for the first time, her eyebrows raise, and she is agape. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs> might have to stay an extra night in this town, guys, for you. Ah, uh, you are not just night. good man; you are a strong man. Oh. oh yeah, we absolutely need to stay an extra night <laughs> we need now. To stay at least one night for you. Nathaniel, <laughs> your turn. <sighs> uh, hunching a little bit from the black bile that I am hurling off a bit, I take a step out. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna grab my hat off of the ground. Oh. I'm going to put it back on my head and twist the brim, then wave that hand back around as lines of magic shoot out, and I cast my mantle of inspiration on Luna Enoch, woman whose name does not have a card, so I can't remember it because Juliana. I'm bad at names. Juliana. And myself now. Also, I forgot, I forgot to sir. take Thorn's turn. After you're done with this, I'm going to take Thorn's turn. Oh, God, I'm so afraid. Please, sir. I'm and only then, a baby. So, so everyone is allowed to move if they would like. I'm only a baby, please. 
Juliana uh, actually we don't provoke moves. attacks of opportunity. You do yet. not. No. You do not provoke attack, attacks of opportunity at all. Juliana rolls behind Enoch and readies her crossbow. It goes back, go back to crossbow form. And then when that is done, actually, I am going no, that's to. That's not where I want to be. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I think oh, I was right there. Was I right there or was I right here? You were right yeah, there. Sounds, sounds about right. Sounds right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I think I want to get closer to Renee because she's a little bit in a, mo- in a mosh pit. So, uh. It's fine. No, 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 no. Listen, prioritize these guys. Good idea. Listen, good idea. Go, Luna. Go. No, <laughs> the problem is. <laughs> no, no, no. Because if Thorn runs past me, I can Sentinel stop him. And then I will swipe my hand once more. And with the largest headache from the blight, I look o- look across all of these necromancers dancing about, trying to pretend like they matter in this story, and I tell them all, shut up. And I cast... Yes! Lead- Sorry, that was meant to be at a higher level. Uh, oh, really? You can throw an additional, uh, what is it, D10? Uh, uh, two, I, it, it would be an additional D8, I D8. believe. It is yeah. an additional 2d8, actually. 2d8. Okay, you can throw another dude yep. to the 2d8. All right. So let's see if it. Let's see if this is in fact literally two more health. Ooh, it's eight more health. That's, that's enough to three. drop two humans. Yes. Well, did either of them cast skeletons? They did cast skeletons, and you know oh. what? Those skeletons go away. Thank God. Leave me alone. Please tell me it's some of the ones around. Tell me one of them. Which is, yes! <laughs> and then I'm going to look what? at Thorn, and I'm going to shout out matter-of-factly, Abigail. What? No response. And I'm going to wait for a response. No response oh. at all? No response. Well, that was a shot in the dark. Uh, That's my turn. I was about to say, if that actually well, worked, I was going to yeah. lose my fucking mind. Yeah, it was, I, I, I had a... I was 33% sure... And that was enough to go off of because this is a hulking rage monster that fell out of the All sky. All right, hulking rage monster, turn. fuck me mother. up. Do it. You won't, you coward. <laughs> hulking Do it. rage monster has to literally Do it, hulking rage me. monster. Okay, <laughs> so hulking rage monster looks <laughs> at, for, without losing their locked face at you, Renee, cuts <laughs> down this human in one swipe. <laughs> oh, God. And slowly hovers towards you. <laughs> no, thank you! And stops no! at Luna on the way. Oh. Uh, Excuse me? And turns to Luna and does nothing. Oh, wow. You can hear raspy breathing, Luna. And nothing. Raspy breathing? Nothing more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I don't like that! See, that is question number two now. I'm going down a list here. Uh, excuse me? Uh, pardon? <laughs> Next, Luna, what? your turn. Luna is just kind of looking at him confused. I'm going to move right here and bring Echo Dad back right behind me, in between me and Renee. Okay. And I'm just going to have my sword ready. I want to hold an attack if he tries to move past me towards Renee, but I'm just staring confused as to why he he stopped at me well you were in a, in a ready stance right to uh try and yeah. stop them on the way yeah yeah well i mean yeah technically but they can, i'm yeah I'm kinda, okay I, I if i can because i think talking's a free action yeah you can the necromancers are that way i don't think you want to take this fight the armored figure slimply turns their head towards Renee slowly, and another <laughs> breath. <sighs> oh, no! Whatever she's done, take it up with me. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you ready your action. Yeah. Renee, your turn. Um, you have a skeleton still I, swiping at you. I do have a skeleton. I do not give a single fuck. I am fine. I would like to look at this person in particular. Um, it, am I close enough to hear the breathing now that it is approaching me? Yes. Or? Okay, I'm terrified, me as a player, me as a character. Renee is, cu- so, is there any source, any sense that there is a will of a human inside of this thing? 
That would require a very a... high investigation check, I would say. I know. I know, but it's... It, it'll Did you help say really high investigation? Are you a reanimated <laughs> corpse, sir? Are you a reanimated corpse, sir? <laughs> um... We'll see if I get anything. I probably won't. Let's see. But... Good luck. 13. 13. You stare, you try to look, you can see the shine, you know, what little sunlight that is peering through the clouds do seem to bounce off of something inside of the helmet. Uh, it bounces off of something? You know, how, how well, you know, when light is on something. Ah, oh, okay. So, um... You can I see that like this is armor unlike any you've seen as yeah. well. Yeah, that's another thing in particular. Um, I can see that there is a necromancer over here. Mm -hmm. um, I am basically going to... Um, shoot my shot and run around. <laughs> you will take an attack of opportunity. I'm fine with that. All right. So, as long uh, as it's not from uh, fucking Thorn, 15, please. 20, 25... Thorn simply turns in place, hovering, staring at Basically, you. Basically, I am maneuvering to either get him to pay attention to this guy or this guy or literally any of the other necromancers. Also, you take another you take another two damage from the skeleton. That's fine. Leave me alone. I probably don't want to oh, get hit oh, again. Just so Thorn would have been burned in my aura. Oh. Oh no. Would they now? Yeah. I wish he's... I probably need to know that before I move. Yep. You uh, uh that, that doesn't change I'm anything. Sure. You can see you the radiant also, the radiant aura. You are also, uh Renee, Ooh. I'm sorry, but you are also getting burned. Four damage. I got too close to you. God damn it! I'm so Dude. sorry. It's, it's, I'm it's so four sorry. radiant damage? Yeah, four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am almost dead. You can I see wish I was the I'm sorry. The <laughs> it's, it's only on the end of my turn, so if you pass through me, you're not taking it. The little bits of cloth and kind of armor start to singe a little bit as you stay there, Luna. But uh, the turn remains oh. the same, and the action okay, that Thorn right, takes remains the same. Okay, so it's they're, they're just still staring at me. Yep, Great. they so seem I unfazed. I haven't got like, extra damage that I got from the Skelly Boy, and uh, so I actually do have to move away from Luna, just to keep myself from getting hurt anymore. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I forgot listen, to take my radiant damage down. It's ten feet. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You literally, the way okay. you were going would have been absolutely just fine. You don't take damage by passing through it. You take okay. damage by oh. ending, by uh, okay, me 20. ending my turn. That's 20. Uh, I don't like being so close. But okay. I also don't want to lead it to Nathaniel. Um... You know what? I'm actually gonna go hide behind this thing. I like think. <laughs> sorry I keep on thinking about my movement, but basically I just am like, I'm just going to, uh... You know, I'm not here. <laughs> All right. Don't mind me. Cool. Leave me alone. Now the NPCs <laughs> turns. The remaining elf and drow look to each other as the rest of their companions are dead or incapacitated. And uh, the elf speaks out, This is a lost cause. Bloodstride has abandoned us. We must retreat. And you hear from Muffle from behind the, uh, the bone armor of the drow. <sighs> Fine. And they both open up a portal as well. Step through. Oh, motherfuckers. The battle is over. And. No, it's not. Oh, Thorn is still here. Thorn no, stays standing. And Juliana yells out Be gone, Thorn! There are no necromancers here left for you except the ones on the ground. Take your kills and leave. Thorn simply looks through you, Luna, directly at Renee. <sighs> and turns and, and starts to hover towards the incapacitated uh, necromancers. Do you take an attack of opportunity? Don't you dare. No, no. Because my plan was that if he, if he went to Renee, I was going to hit him with the banishment crystal. That was my plan. Oh, okay. He is resistant to those, is what the... Yes, the, but, yeah, but we were told it would not hold him for long periods of time. But it would hold. We were told that it, it would, would hold. hold. It yeah. would give us It would give us a chance to not deal with the crazy axe murderer. <laughs> Literally a crazy it's... axe murderer. Yeah. And um, they take their axe and swipe down at the human, cleaving them in two. And... 
on the final turn, Enoch, is there anything you're doing? Because if not, this will be the last... Well, regardless, this will be the last thing. I... I holster the gun, and in my mind, there is a legitimate feeling of, like, taking back the reins. And you hear a voice. Nobody else hears this. You hear a voice. We should do this more sometime. And fuck off. Dissipates back into you. <sighs> Anything else you're doing? I walk over and I pick up my hat. All right. Very important. That These men in their hats. Will be combat, and Lancel looks shaken as Thorn starts to hover towards. Uh, the body, and he merely sheaths his sword and takes a few cautious steps back without saying anything. You can see he's he's visibly shaken. And Thorn takes their axe, brings it down executioner style, and kills the last necromancer. I apologize, but my curiosity won't be sated until I do this. Vadron. No response. Any reaction? Thank well, fuck I was gonna freak the hell out. Listen. Well, that's good information to know. The information to no. know who the fuck this is. Nathaniel, really? Renee got spooked. She's staying the fuck away from that and thing. And mm -hmm. after they execute the final necromancer, turns and looks around, like, surveying the area. I told you, there are no necromancers amongst us. Leave. Yeah, no, I'm staying hidden. Fuck that shit. Thorn simply looks at Juliana, and you can feel shaking as stones rise from the ground ever so slightly, and they quickly vanish up into the air at lightning speed, and you hear the screeching as they fly through the air. What in the world is that? Are you all right? And I'm running Fuck. over to her. I'm, I'm I, fine. I'm dropping I'm radiant consumption, by the way. Uh, Good. Yeah. Re uh, Renee, yeah, have please. some, have some, have my healing hands. Renee, I'm, for I'm healing I'm fine. Hands. I'm fine. I don't need it. I don't. It's, no. it's fine. No, you are not fine. And you're not going to pretend to be fine. I do not play with that shit. Take this. And I'm just going to pat you on the shoulder. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> you're patting me. How much for how much? <laughs> Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for healing. Thank you for the four healies. Um, I'm going to take my four healies. And, uh, Lancel also runs up to you, Nathaniel, yeah. dropping his sword and grabs you by both shoulders. <sighs> and just grabs you and just hugs you tight. Huh? I, huh? I am very injured in the internal areas. This does not feel good. And he, he lets go, and you can see there are tears across his eyes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure. I am fine. You do not need to worry. And before anyone has even another chance of respite, someone crashes through the door of the tavern. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. And you can see it's that it's tap water. Oh no. Who's got He's allowed to interrupt. Who's got a gash across his chest? You can see no! sparks coming out a little bit. Tap water! And no. He <sighs> he steps out. Um you You're about to iron giant tap water. I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> Let's see. Uh where are my notes? Do 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 do. Oh no. And yeah. you can hear his voice skitter a bit. Is is everyone accounted for? Oh my god, what happened to you? And he kind of stumbles to the ground. The the protectors came d d d during the commotion, broke into the tavern. They 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 took mirth. I will be <gasps> all right. I I I simply need some r r recovery time. Wait, which way did they go? What direction? They the, and you can hear like a powered down sound and Fuck. he i need rest i am going to quickly run into the tavern and Same. like and i'm gonna and i'm gonna do my best like as soon as i run in there i'm gonna take in what i'm looking at analyze everything and see if i can't figure out what direction they all went in nathaniel you are surveying <sighs> the area there was a struggle there was a burst through the window and an attack from the upper level 
and uh, give me an investigation. Actually, you can use a passive investigation since it's not under pressure. Oh, which fantastic. would be what, like 20, case, 24 or something like that? <laughs> what? No. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's only going to be uh, 21. 21. Only 21. Ah, big difference. <laughs> only 21. Yes, yeah, so 21. with a 21 <laughs> passive investigation, you look around, there was a struggle. Uh, some, you can see that there's some potion residue on the ground, there are some broken inventions, and it seems the attack occurred in Mert's room. You can see everything is trash. There are a bunch of broken down inventions, like I said. Uh, different equipment stuff, various things. And uh, the bread is both... Uh, bed, sorry, not bread. The bed is broken. <laughs> Furniture has been thrown. You can see that there's a lot of civilians inside who are hurt as well. And they recount you the story of how the protectors came in and, you know, uh, basically were just grabbing mirth and mirth tried to fight them people tried to help they were not able to the protectors were too powerful and the commotion outside kind of covering up the shouts but they also didn't want to fight with the necromancers is there anything in specific that you're looking for i ran in with nathaniel mm -hmm. is did i i specifically want to pay attention to absolution while i'm in the room you're in there and notably absolution doesn't do anything neither did it do anything when you were fighting any of the necromancers Oh god, that kid's going to get themselves killed. Uh, and uh, leaving Nathaniel, I'm running back outside to find Renee. Oh, also, I, I assume you're questioning them about where they went. Uh, and some people recounted that they were heading west. Yeah. Some rumors that, they, that the protectors have a hidden kind of meeting location just in the wilderness. Mm. Right. Luna, you can heal, but can you heal the injuries of all of these people? I've already used what I could on t could today on Renee. I'm sorry. Don't be. We've gone through a lot today. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Renee is going to need to heal me. Uh, and also, might be slightly troubling, as I, I imagine we're heading outside. Yep. My sword had a my sword had a reaction to something in in Muth's room today. I don't know Isn't what. It? I don't. I I can't really figure out what it's been doing it's been actually really weird lately it was just i woke up and it was vibrating and trying to pull itself against the wall into his room and i asked him about it and he seemed excited to show something to me and enoch and then he locked himself in the room and i'm assuming that's probably what the protectors are after does your sword normally move on its own no then it would oh, be that, whatever isn't it that incident when i felt the blade go cold it's the first time I've ever felt this thing do anything. This is just a fancy piece of metal otherwise. It shouldn't be doing this. Is it the same one that's moving? Yes. It's th my father's sword. Y you had Renee take a look at it, correct? Yes, and I've had it looked at multiple times. It has no magical properties. Then something is affecting it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> as we're heading out, I want to call uh, Renee. Renee's already immediately like as soon as Nathaniel's like out, just like Renee, I'm dying. Yeah, she's just <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, like I mean, like she was about to like ask if he was okay, and as soon as he says that, like so deadpan, she's like, You stupid motherfucker. But that's like the way she casts healing work. <laughs> just like calling him like a stupid bastard. Renee, do oh. you still have those potions you... for meth? Yes, I do. Give me one, please. She'll pass one over to you. I'm putting it on my belt. I'm drinking this thing soon. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I got two of them, right? Yeah. You had a couple of them. I no, believe. I had three. I had three. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just asked I had... for one. Yep. So now I have two. But yeah, no, like, Renee is... <laughs> she's, she's like, you stupid motherfucker. Mm. That's just... I'm never leaving... I, I'm not going to leave you alone like the, that anymore. It's just... You, you're not allowed. No, fuck Lancel, that. Lancel <laughs> speaks up. That makes two of us. Thank you. I like you now. This, this, <laughs> is, like, absolute, yeah. this, this is beautiful this, and heartwarming, but we have it, a time limit. It's no, also I a waste know. of time. We need to move. They're going west. We are. We're going to save them. Why? What else would we be doing? You can see a smile across his face. Right. All I that talk don't have much left in... good and efficiency. You do have a heart. Uh, question. Did, I know. It's somewhere were, in there. When they were telling uh, where they went, did they mention having any sort of uh, faster means of transportation, like horses, or are they all on foot? 
they were all on axe beaks. What the fuck well, is an axe beak? <laughs> they're amazing. Uh, think a chocobo. Think like a chocobo. Oh. They are giant dodo birds. They're amazing. Samuel, as much as as much as I would love to go follow immediately after them, how the fuck are we going to chase down giant belts? Ah, uh, one horses? step at a time, I suppose. You you see uh, oh, we have that uh, tap water springs back to energy. Yeah. You, you you do not have to catch up to them. Merely find where 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 they're hiding. Tap water, are you ready to be alright? I'll be fu 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 Would you like another drink? Uh, I would love a horse. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Juliana uh, rolls up. Hmm. Maybe. I will look around, see if we can spare. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Enoch. He's just staring at the ground. His face is extremely disappointed. Thank you for getting to him first. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you. We need to find Murph. We're gonna I find know him. I do. We're gonna find him. Then we need to move now. Let's go. Are we waiting? Are we going to wait for horses or are we going to move now? The horses will give us a faster time. All right. I'm going to go look around in Murph's room again. I'll be right back. All right. Would you like any I assistance with that? I think I'll go with you. I'm interested. Ah, you'll be fine. He's very good at seeing things, except for when he's in danger. Just like, mm, just. I will say, Luna looks mm. very clearly on edge since you, she mentioned her sword doing weird shit. <laughs> Lancer will simply stay by tap water, just like checking up on him. He doesn't <laughs> seem like he knows what he's doing, but you know, he's kind of closing what wounds uh. he can. Enoch, do you think you could work your magic on, on on the poor bartender here? This seems like it's your your calling, your avenue. He he. Uh, tap water lifts up one finger. Although I am warforged, that doesn't mean I can't 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 get healed. You know what? Fuck it. Then I'm just going to cast healing word on the on this. <laughs> oh, you. F <laughs> just you know what? Fine. <laughs> Take eight Renee. points. Renee. <laughs> what? As much as I appreciate the kindness we are showing to the Warforged, we are about to go into battle. I still have some spells left. It'll be fine. Hmm. I will also right. ask if you guys would like to take a short rest before you head out as yes, well. Yes, please. Please! Yeah. Do I get yes. my spell slots back after the, in a short? I don't remember with bards. No, nope, you I don't are think not you a warlock. Do. Ah! You are not nope. a warlock, sorry. Only warlocks. But you can, you know, get use some of your hit dice to gain HP back. I would like to do that. You know what? I've got, I've got so little HP that hey, I action. may as well have one. Let's go. Ooh, You're also boss, so you can use Song of Rest. Yes, mm. Song of Rest. Oh my god. We should use Song of Rest together. We'll be fine. What does Song mm -hmm. of Rest do? That's song of Rest gives you an additional D6. Mm -hmm. Is that for everybody or just you guys? It's everybody. It's everybody. Everybody gets 1D6 mm -hmm. when they take a short rest as long as they Is use that their die. per each bard? Good I question. Believes, let me yeah, check. is that per each? This isn't a question that we normally get because bards aren't used as a Yeah, they're not often. used in twos. <laughs> I can't imagine it would stack. I feel like I it mean, would have there's no same... reason why it wouldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Song of Rest checking right now. Uh, beginning it. Blah, 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 revitalize. If it you says nothing. Your creatures, does not say it, it does not say anything about not stacking, which means it does. Ha ha! Yep. <laughs> well, it doesn't uh, matter with me. My goddamn spells hate me today. How long does the mantle of inspiration temp HP last? It's probably gone by now. Temporary HP will last as long as eight hours. Oh, so okay. I still that, have so right. I still have three temp. Right. Cool. Nice. I am back to full really health. Bye -bye. That might not be right. I, I think I may be giving you false information. Check. Well, either it's way, okay. I'm back up to full. If I should take the the temp HP off, if we like rule it later, I just take three extra damage. It's okay. Uh, unless the feature that grants you temporary HP has a duration, they last until they are depleted or until you finish a long rest. There you go. Oh, there we go. Mm. Okay, so I just have three extra HP until tonight. Um, yep. Yeah, up to kids' room? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Awesome possum. So, uh, yeah, during your short rest, uh, you guys can say what you're doing, I guess, in the meantime. And by the time the short rest is over, Juliana, I will say, Juliana is able to manage three horses for you. Awesome. Oh, that's plenty. Good. Uh, cool. Good. Um, oh my god. Good. I hate that. Oh I hate god. that for you. What the fuck? <laughs> I should have saved my healing my healing hands for you, man. Don't worry. I'm back at full. Oh my god. It only took all of <laughs> your dice. 
<laughs> I have one left. Actually, I should have rolled my song of rest. One sec. Let me see if I had to roll, roll your song of rest. One. You fool! I'll say you can yeah. retroactively take back a die, yeah! a die if you want. Nice. Well, I'm gonna, t- I'm yeah. gonna take two of those back because that was. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed the one. All right, we're good here. Awesome. Uh, like I said, I'm 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 probably fruitlessly going around uh, Marth's room trying to see if my sword starts reacting again because that was weird. No, it doesn't. She can see her getting like increasingly more distressed as she can't find it. <laughs> but you like do, she can't find you do find, the sword? looking around the room, you do find parts that look like kind of wooden limbs, like like a puppet, and mm-hmm. they're about like small, like a small humanoid size, and they are broken apart, and you see bits of hay here and there. The hell was he trying to do? I am gonna make my way up to Mirth's room. Mm-hmm. I think by the time you come up, Luna's going to be walking past you. There's nothing up there. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe a skilled eye. Be my guest. Yeah. Yep. And I enter the room, and I am going to look for anything that is particular to my understanding, especially when it comes to artificy. Roll an investigation with advantage. Oh. All right. Okay. Good thing it was advantage Roll because. Adva- oh, no. <laughs> Looking around, I mean, it just looks like it could be some kind of doll. It could be just a sculpting project, some kind, maybe an art piece. Could I come to a conclusion on this, just as Aaron? Yeah, or you can. As yeah. your own personally? conclusions. I think I know what he was trying to do. They, by the way, he was trying. Oh, they. I, I think I know what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. They were trying to make a mechanical servant. I mean, it only sense. fun. Mirth is probably trying to sell the potions in order to make money in order to build this. And that's where my conclusion comes to, because it's not out of my wheelhouse to make that assumption, given my class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, he, if you feel that, if, if that's what You're Enoch, an assumption, yeah. if that the conclusion Enoch comes to, then that is the conclusion that Enoch. Because you to. saw one in pieces, so yep. you like robot. Yeah. Well, and like yeah. he is your apprentice, man. I think I think you you understand, or they are your apprentice. Sorry. There you go. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. Think, they. I think that I think that uh, you might be onto something there, Mister. Uh, yeah. So I I exit the room. Is there anything that I could possibly maybe? use or take from this mess with an eight i'm gonna say that a lot of this just looks like junk you can still take the random bits of debris and add debris into your inventory if you would like is there any potions (laughs) (laughs) is there any alchemist concoctions on the floor i have Uh, some weird ass super potions i don't know what the fuck they do (laughs) nothing more than residue that has been splashed on the floor which you are free to taste don't you fucking oh, dare okay. push it off the floor. Like Listen, if you're going to do it, no, 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 this is, this, this is, this is as Enoch as Enoch gets. He gets down on one knee. God fucking damn it. A single fingertip of the robotic arm to see if it's caustic. Nope, nothing too bad. And just a slight lick. Just it tastes like apple cider. <laughs> oh, thank God you spooked me. It's like, now roll a constitution, okay? Is that what this, yeah. is that what's in the potion on my belt? Is the potion on my belt just apple cider? I'm going to waste an action downing that, and then it's, just, oh, it's we don't sweet. Know. It tastes you don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. But I yes. mean, I'm yeah, going we'll to find it out. out, yes. It tastes like apple right. cider. This is apple cider. Yep. No, that's just, that's just his, or their preferred beverage. Stands straight up. Is there a mirror in the room? There is, you know, it's standard. With the rooms. Squint back at the reflection once more before trying to leave the room. No response this time. I wouldn't expect you to. (sighs) And begins walking down the hall and gaining up the rest of the group. I think I know what was happening. Luna is pacing in front of the in the front of the uh, Luna! Luna! What? What? Are you going to be alright? No, I'm not going to be all right. Honestly, everything has kind of been turned upside down in my world right now. I hey, don't know hey, what's going hey. on. She just grabs her face, literally just like grabs the face, <laughs> takes it in her hands, and just forces her to stop pacing for a minute. Oh my god, Jesus, you're strong for someone so small. What? I just need you to take a few breaths. 
right? Running in there, frazzled is not going to. All it's going to do is cause even more fiery explosions. Which, granted, I can see why Scorpio fucking likes it, but <laughs> going too far that way or too far into the other way, way fucked everything up. You need the balance of determined, a little bit angry, but. You're thinking things through. I understand that this is very difficult. I understand that this is very stressful. But you're not doing this on your own. I understand that it is a lot of a lot of problems going on in your head right now. But I want you to understand you're not facing this on your own, okay? She uh like she just kinda like takes a breath and finally puts away absolution. Yeah. Alright. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Listen, it devel- those are valid feelings. I just I need you to feel them, and then we need to go. In the sense of, if you stay, I don't want you to stay stuck in them. Right, right, yeah. It will be of no benefit if you are. Right, you're right. Thank you. She just nods. With a smile. Yeah. Just, she, she's still very clearly stressed, but she gives you like a, a weak smile back. Renee, will you do like two little pats with both hands and just pat pat? <laughs> all right, all right, enough. Julianne comes up with that. the reins of the horses. You know, these things are ready to go. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Oh, Good. Fantastic. You will uh, have to share. There are only three I can spare. That's I can, fine. I, I can take someone hmm. or somebody else can take someone. I don't mind. I'm smaller than all of you. I'm smaller than all of you. I can ride with someone. Uh, You see Lancel speak up. Perhaps you could ride with me, Miss Renee. Uh, Could give me time to get to know you a little bit. This is a terrible idea. Renee will be riding. (laughs) This is a wonderful idea. I will will ride with Lancel. (laughs) He hops up on one of the horses, which I do not have a token for. (laughs) She's up on the horse, too. So I guess Nathaniel is riding with Enoch, then that's fine. And I'm getting on a horse. I, I, I reject this idea as much as possible. I'm sorry, there's only one horse left. Do you want Nathaniel I, in the front with me? Who's the one that has the cowboy hat here? That's me. So I'm taking this horse. Uh-huh. Okay. Do, do you there want are three Nath- horses. Again, do you want Nathaniel near the one who burns everything around her? I'm just taking my own horse. This is my singular <laughs> horse. No one is allowed to be on it. <laughs> Wait, what about lovely Juliana? Oh, is she coming with? I don't know, is she? I must tend to the town. Many hurt. That makes sense. And tavern yeah. broken. I must mend. Also, tap water is too good. Must we'll not to... let employee lose life. We'll try to come back as soon as we you can. Know, I respect an employer that gives a damn about her employees. Thank you. Me too. what you need to do. As an employer, I appreciate Tap water, get- you get four time overtime, and she drags oh. him kind of across the grass as she rolls back into the tavern. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> I mutter under my breath, okay, maybe that's a bit much. And then I'm going to turn to Lancel, and I'm going to, realizing that Renee is just going to be on this horse, I am going to gently put my hand on his shoulder, and I will say, are you ready? Are you prepared? I am. Oh, good. And then I will grab the collar of his outfit and pull him closer. <laughs> and say, Do you remember what we talked about last night? He just looks, he's averting his gaze and sweats a little bit, but uh, not shaking, just like a little nervous. Yes. And then I let go. <laughs> then I let go like and, I ta- and I tap him on the back like a couple times, give him a couple pats. Fantastic. You'll do great. And I got <laughs> With what what horse? There was three. The, yeah, yep, exactly. He's got his own horse. <laughs> he's on his own horse. Enoch and Luna are on a horse. Lance and Renee are on a horse. You and figure your own shit out. I'm going. You know what? Fine, fine. I do not care. I'm not going to make this an issue. Enoch, front or back. Pick one. I don't care. I'll take the lead. And All right. I I hop on the on the front end. Yeah, she just and I scoots crack. back. Yeah, I crack the. Uh, I crack the reins as as hard as I can, and we are we need to go off quick. All right, yes. Off we go. You follow along the path with your incredibly high passive investigation, Nathaniel. You're able to find the tracks following feathers, footprints, the smell of rum and dirt and alchemy. So you follow along into some secluded woods away, as uh, this you know it takes a little bit of time. Just tracking, 
and you move a little bit slower than you would have to keep up with the tracks and it starts the sun starts to set a bit as the sky turns an orange and along the way uh lancel is just kind of making small talk whisperings to you renee and uh yeah. it's like <laughs> good i'm curious i don't see him out working all the time is he normally this uptight i mean he's no, normally uptight when he's back fabulous. at the office but no, no, listen, usually it's far worse. This is actually nice to see him relaxing and doing something. Oh. I've never seen him react like that. Uh, I've seen that plenty of times. Really? When? Uh, hey, look at that. Wow, I've never seen the horizon so beautiful. Oh. <clears throat> Which taker? Listen, I assume we're getting close. <laughs> Please tell me we're getting close. He's very terrible at small talk. I sure hope so. Is anybody doing anything else along <laughs> the trip? I'm fucking rolling an inside on him. Uh, <laughs> Look at this mm -hmm. motherfucker. You most certainly can. <laughs> tell me your secrets. <laughs> but now in the sense of just like, oh, let me just totally distract from the conversation. I Bitch. mean, it's pretty clear he's hiding something. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a terrible liar. that much. He is a terrible liar. <laughs> What that is, who knows? But he's trying. He's changing the conversation. He's looking just away. Do not speak. <laughs> do you? What? Do you, Lancel? I have taught you this. <laughs> what did I say when the police ask you questions? <laughs> <laughs> you say lawyer and nothing else. Yep. You I'm say a lawyer. Shut up! I'm having a lovely conversation with your son. All right, right. <laughs> lawyer. Let okay. me conversate with your boy. Mm -hmm. And you guys arrive. You follow the tracks, and you arrive at some secluded woods. Oh. Oh, and, even uh, better. It's a map. That is okay. not the right token. Let me get rid of that. That was before uh -oh. I had a proper token for Mirth. Oh, Mirth. You get within range, and you can just see that Mirth is tied up to a tree. You can see that they've got bruises oh. and cuts across them. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Where's my child? <laughs> They they're are right there. They're right there. Baby. And you can see oh. the uh, Earth Genasi that you saw yesterday who is talking with Juliana. <gasps> and she is uh, just kind of looking through his pack, smiling. And you can see a bunch of other tents. And you guys can put yourselves at the bottom right over here. How okay, cool. I am so angry. The potion? The, oh, you actually uh, took a swig of the random potion. No, no, I want to know what the duration is on it because I want to have it prepared. I don't I'm fucking know. It's a, well, it's you a, an you won't know experiment. until you try it. Yeah. He didn't tell us how long it'll last. No, he's they, just been experimenting. They, he doesn't yeah, know they, what the fuck it does. They, they, they said that they just want someone oh, to they, test them out. They, they, they make uh, them powerful. Got you. No, I'm doing um, it. Got you. Got you. Then yeah. I'm writing um, this down for myself as soon again. As we are about to get an altercation, I would like to drink potion, please. Okay. So, oh, I Lord. am. I get off the horse and I'm briskly walking towards that. Before you do, yeah. Luna, you take a swig of the potion. I'm going to need you to make a d6 roll. Oh. Uh oh. Please be poisoned. Yep. Please. No. Please be poisoned. No. Why do you want me to be poisoned? What have because I ever I... done to you? Two. Two. You feel invigorated. Your senses go up. Your eyes <gasps> see the motion of the leaves. And for the next 10 minutes, Holy you have shit. plus two to all dexterity rolls. Oh! Ooh. I like good. it. All right. I like, like this. Good. I like this a lot. Seeing Luna down at Renee's just like, did he broke? Anything that involves <laughs> dexterity, you automatically gain plus two. Fuck. Did, did, yeah. did he work? Oh, I feel fucking great. <laughs> well, oh, fucking right then. She like takes out the other two potions. Who else wants to fucking have one? <laughs> Linda this is the like perfect time to experiment. She gets to see it live. And cracking your neck, like, oh, I'm so ready for this. Yeah, she's like, this is as good a time as any. Who wants to help Mel see the experiments live? I because will that would take be fucking... one and down one. Here yep. you go. Everyone who wants to down it. one, roll a d6. <laughs> I only have three, so that was All Luna, right. Enoch. I have one more. <laughs> if you would like it, you can have it. Oh, give it to Lancel. Five. Okay. Five. Do -do -do -do. You were poisoned. <laughs> no. With a five, five dice, baby. you have Hold plus on. two to all wisdom rolls. <gasps> oh. I wonder what the D6 is for. 
I don't know people. I think it's just determining what. It's I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm being facetious. In any yeah. case, yeah. <laughs> you should anyway. give the last one to Lance. God damn it. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, Lancel's Lancel, here. That's you, right. Yeah. Lancel, would you like to one, try and see what the fuck happens? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, do I? This is completely up to you. So far, two out of the three have been good. Uh, nothing ventured. Does... And he takes one. And there he is. There he is. It's one of Matt's potions. As he's drinking it. Uh, he, he goes, no, like, no, as he raises, it. as he raises it, you say one of Mirth's potions, and he stops. Actually, no, you know. I was specifically waiting for, I was specifically waiting for him to drink it, like, start drinking it before oh, I said Oh, okay. Oh, so it's too late now. Uh, he's, like, about halfway through the bottle, you say it, and his cheeks puff up. And he just swallows. I promised Mouse we could experiment. Oh. Listen. I see. Um, well, uh, just roll for him. Please be good. Please roll just straight. Be the Please one roll that's straight. bad. Well, it tastes all right. And he hands half the bottle back to you. Okay, fuck it. I'm having the, the rest of it. All right. So, uh, yeah, Renee, uh, you can also roll the d6. All right. Sounds good. Four. Four. That would be intelligence. Your intelligence Sweet. gets plus two to all I am roles. A smart girl. You have this is big brain. Now this <laughs> lasts ten minutes. Cool. Right, we have ten minutes to up. fuck shit up. <laughs> Renee. Yes. This may turn into a hostage situation. Maneuver eight. Alright. And I'm going to try to I'm gonna get off my horse and I'm gonna to try to stealthily get as close to the to this situation as possible. You can roll yeah, and a I'm stealth. gonna move. I, and Enoch was, yeah, Enoch was just tree. stepping up, yeah. right? Yep. I'm moving behind the tree. Actually, I'm gonna move over. I, I unpeel like to, as I go. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to follow uh, oh. behind. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I would like to follow behind <sighs> Enoch as a added muscle and intimidation. I'm yeah. saying. And, roll uh, that if that, actually, um, yeah, go ahead and roll an intimidation right now. Just like oh. showing up randomly Objection to this hideout. Is, Objection is drawn out. And I am going to just step up to the Earth Genasi as uh, oh, you right. don't get quite there. You get here. Oh. oh. And uh you see an arrow stop you in your tracks right on like in front of your feet. And she continues to rummage through the pack. That was a warning shot. I'll show you a warning I, shot. Where did where did that come from? You can give me a perception. Where did that arrow? I wanna nope. I I want to know oh, the oh. fuck was that? I want to know. That will be a giant yellow outfit. It's not that the best That will be a stealth. nine. Yeah. That is a nine. You look around and you can tell it definitely came from one of the trees. Which one? Who knows? Ken. And I just let off one shot and I scream back, that is my warning shot. And I yeah. point the gun towards the Earth Genasi. The next one goes straight into your head. Can Nailed. I just say fuck warning shots and have... Can I just say, like, fuck warning shots? I'd like to summon Echo Dad right behind her. No, no. Ooh. Oh. All right, you can. What are you? What? <clears throat> Renee's just, like, running her hands over her moment. face. Just like, oh, <laughs> these two. Uh, he's not so, doing anything. He's just there. Uh, okay, yeah. and uh, He's not doing anything. I can't have him do anything. She, she, <laughs> she lifts one hand up and goes, oh, the warning's not for you. And you can see several bows reach out from the trees and all aim at mirth. Guess what? I'm holding a healing spell. Okay. <laughs> that is mine. So you're here so, to collect our little precious civilian, are we? I think you've- That is not. A group that calls himself the protectors. You should do a really shitty job at protecting things. Oh, but we were able to manage to grab them just before any necromancy harm could come to them, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Wonderful. You did a wonderful job beating the shit out of them and then hurting people in the tavern. I'm so look, proud of you. Good job. Look, what is it exactly that you want? Just a little hmm? bit of payment for our protecting of this little town. What you exactly want? is the payment that you're trying to get? That was very little protection. Oh, oh just a, a measly 150 gold pieces for this morsel. For hmm. just one person. Ah, uh, you don't think they're worth that much? She like Not looks over at Mirth. Yeah, she like looks over at Mirth like. Eh. Mirth's like, eyes a water like, so, a little so. bit, and their their lip quivers. And I, I shoot, 
I shoot eye daggers at Renee. Just violently. Look. <laughs> Look, if you were doing really a wonderful job, you would have grabbed far more people and would have made much more money. Oh, but I think I, I think I can make a lot more money. Because this mm-hmm. little snuggums is a necromancer. Aren't you? Oh, well. My heart drops. Would you like to repeat that? Oh, you Excuse heard me. me. What? Mirth. Uh, Mirth just like, no, 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 I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I promise, I'm not. And the, I, the Earth Genasi what? lifts up, then why was this in your pack? And lifts up a book. God, God damn fucking it. damn it. There's only one book in this entire country. <laughs> <laughs> There's one now, book that on. we hate, we hate learning. Murph, I want you to answer one question. Did you acquire it or did you find it? Did you seek it or did you just stumble upon it? Uh, That's going to determine the outcome. Give me a charisma check. I will oh. add, if you just found it, we're not going to come after you. And if you sought it out, we're still not going to come after you yet, but I hope you have a good reason. Perhaps. God okay. damn it. Oh. You, say, you say this to Mirth and tears start to cover their face and snot drips down their nose. I... <laughs> right, Mirth. I'm... T- Mirth, look at me. Look they, at me right now. They look at you, teary-eyed. I want you to remember what I told you earlier today. Honesty. It means everything to me. And for the past 24 hours, it seemingly has been the goal between us is to be honest. From one engineer to another, will you be honest with me? They sniff and they nod. Did you look for that book, or did you find that book? Someone gave it to me. Why did you take it? Because, because, and the Earth Genasi steps in. Now, 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 no more information until I get what the I gun, want. The gun cocks back. You shut up! Hold on, listen, I'm sure... uh, Hey, hey, Enoch, listen, we can all be very, very reasonable here. Look, I actually believe that this can be solved very peacefully. Look, I have some coin, and I would be more than happy to give it to you. All right? I Um, I am going to cast this one spell that I have not been able to actually do in a hot minute. I need to reread it first to make sure that I'm getting exactly what I want. So oh, I think I know what you're doing, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, so let me see. I just got to make sure I'm I'm reading this right. Uh, damn it! Now I it? wish I hadn't drank the spell or the potion, but you know. Um, while you, while you guys were having the conversation, Lancel is just like keeping an eye on the tents. You can see his eyes darting around, and he <laughs> unsheathing his sword, ready. Um. I am going to take out, I don't have a lot of shit, which is not great, but you know, I don't need a dagger, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm going to take out my dagger cause I don't really use it a lot anyways. And I'm going to cast distort value. Oh, 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 I'm basically shit. going to yes. um, turn this knife into a very, very fancy looking, like, custom made dagger with some pretty little jewels in What's it. What's your DC? 14. I pray to God. Cross my heart. You uh, see the Earth Genasi just, like, looking it over. Her eyes is glazing she's like twirling it in her hand hopefully she she extends a hand and does like a like a come here motion all right and I the, will the bows continue over there. still drawn all at mirth yep well, that's why while they're distracted by renee <laughs> would i be able to roll perception to see if i can't figure out how many of them there are and you most certainly can in? okay and now renee, i will remind you this shit up. <laughs> i will remind you my passive perception is 19, but I will roll normal perception anyway to see if I can get higher than 19. Mm-hmm. Click. I do not. I'll go oh. with the 19 with if the that's 19. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm wasting my time getting over there, so you're fine. You can see, and Enoch, you you know, you you pointing this at, at what's your passive perception as well? Uh, my passive is 13. 13, okay. That's not a 19. Um, but... And I'm just going to put human tokens for now. I'll uh, determine That's what fine. they are. You see one here, here, right. 
-hmm. here. Right. Here. Oh my. Here. Oh Jesus They're Christ, in please. My They're in all here. the trees. My one weakness, ranged attack. Here. <laughs> oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And <laughs> here. Jesus Christ. You can't my tell you weakness. can't tell what they are, but they all have bows drawn and they're all yeah. aimed at mirth. Like as Renee is like spinning the knife in her hand, she's like, it took me a very, very long time to acquire this. It is very valuable. I'm sure I could get, mm, thinking about it, mm. 500 gold. Then you are incredibly generous. And with a whistle, all the bows are redrawn. It's just a dagger I to me. Run I'm up much, to Mark. I much wait, prefer wait, having wait, a lovely wait. conversation. What? Redrawn means, it, do you sorry, mean like sorry. Pulled, uh, back. Pulled, pulled back into the trees? Back. Yeah. And, uh, yep, yeah. Mirth just like, throws their body at you crying i'm sorry i'm sorry i just want and she takes it i hope you have a wonderful day and she pockets it of course I, 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 listen all these people with their fancy weapons and oh gosh all of the oh makes me I, squeamish mm -hmm. so you have fun I, I, and she basically like turns to Nathaniel with like a very upset look and she's like, I can't believe you made me get rid of that knife. That one's worth so much money. I bet I'll get what paid for that. I'll buy you a new one. Are you sure about that? Because that Genasi. was one of my favorite. Uh, Lancel I... just kind of steps up and uh, speaks. Oh, are they all right? And uh, Mirth is just crying into your shoulder, Enoch. I'm sorry. Please, can we just get out of here? We'll have this conversation. Okay. And I pick them up, or pick them up, and I look at Luna. Can I please borrow the horse? Lancel speaks up. You can ride with me, Miss Luna. That's fine. Sure. Mm. So now I... what? You're going to continue terrorizing this town? Listen, if they'll smelt, they'll take that to a beautiful market and just take the gold and run. Well, simply... Find wherever our job takes us. She puts two fingers into her mouth and whistles, and out of the, out of the tents are several axe beaks that spry up. Uh, I'd like to approach her. I've put my swords away, but I am approaching. Yep. I swear to God. <laughs> Let me just make something very clear. I'm not walking away next time, and you better hope you don't find me. She looks to you, and you are... Your worst nightmare. Hmm. And she gets on her axe beak, and a few of the lackeys uh, from the trees hop on, and a few of them start to fly off, and they run off to another location. You guys start to ride back to Rugga Wood. <laughs> I, Out of distance, I use... like, on Nathaniel's horse, just like, I fucking did not believe that fucking dagger worked! <laughs> No, she I'm, was an idiot. <laughs> no, not I an idiot. Cast, that was just, oh. Yeah, in the meantime, you know. I do yep. I do cast prestidigitation on him just, or on them in order to clean them up as best I can. And on the ride back. You can see that they look down can, and, and they just whisper, she's right. I do use necromancy. Uh, before we make it back to Ruggawood, I'm going to pull back on the horse to stop it. And while we are still in the woods, not like right after we leave, but I want to say like about five minutes from Ruggwood before we make it to the town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to bring my horse back and I'm going to circle back to the rest of the group and I'm going to say, we're going to need to deal with this before we make it to town. Because if anyone hears us, it's going to cause problems. All right. Let's break for camp for tonight. We'll head back in the morning. I don't know if that's necessary, but... Oh right. uh, no no yeah you've got time to yeah. like maybe have a chat before you. Okay. Yeah. I was under the yeah, impression, I was say. I was under the impression right, that I'm... it was already nighttime. So. No no no. Five minutes. We don't need to break camp. We're five minutes there. Even if we yeah. talk yeah. for three like, hours, we'll yeah. just walk to camp. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, in any case, I on on this horse ride back. I'm definitely having this moment with with mm -hmm. and as we're going down. Back to Rugga Wood. Why? I... I'm, I'm not much of a fighter. And the other schools of magic just don't... They just don't come to me in the same way. And 
And sometimes I get in trouble finding the right ingredients I need. And you see how most of Ruggerwood is towards my experiments. They, they wouldn't even give me the minute of their time. So I, I kind of have to make my own help. And, and honestly, some of these spells are very useful. A blight can dry out herbs that I no, can No, 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 no. I didn't ask you. I'm not asking you to explain to me. I'm asking you to give me a reason why I should not have you arrested. My God, Enoch, he's they, a child. They, they look down they, and... They're a child. They, they sniff. I don't know. Because I really don't want to. I, I see it. I see something bright. I see something smart. I see something different. They but reach into I... their pack and they pull out what looks to be a small wooden box, kind of like a foot across. You, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. And they drop it and it turns into a construct, a humanoid construct. And it's about like four feet tall. It stands up and blades extend from, it ha from its hands. I was trying to make something to help protect the town. Oh my god, it's a Modron. The what I... now? It's a Modron. It's a Modron. Oh. I get down on one knee, I, hands on shoulders. Please. This is what you're supposed to do. This. Never. Ever dabble. In such. Poisonous. Ideals and dreams of necromancy. I beg you. But necromancy is what allowed me to make this. Bum, bum, bum. Excuse me? Uh, the, the ingredients that I use and the incantations that I make and some of the inventions as well, I'm able to learn from necromancy how to do them better. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's just... I... I'm not proud of it. You? Who gave you the book? Uh, a strange man. Uh, about last week. And uh, you see Lance will pipe up. The necromancer I ran into. The same one from today? Uh, no, different different one. It, it was... he. he uh, they look over to Lancel. It was that one that you fought, Lancel. I didn't get a quite, quite a good look at their face. But mm. they would... Traveling alone b before they attacked that cart, they they handed this to me as if they knew somehow. And uh, let me see the book. Yes, and uh, Lanzo goes to grab it with shaky hands, and the glove falls off, and you can see that uh, they have black veins from their fingertips. Renee's face just scrunches up. Sorry, sorry. It's, and they quickly go to put the gloves back on. This is why you shouldn't be practicing. Look what it's doing to your body. It, it, it's pure. It, it's just all visual. I, I promise. No, no. That leaves a mark on you. Did you see that thing that fell from the sky? Fell to every necromancer he came across. What would happen if he saw that? He wouldn't stand a chance. My heart sinks a bit more at that statement. She's right. You can't. You, I you've learned what you've learned. But you cannot keep doing this. This is going to get you killed. Whether your intentions... I, 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 under, I believe that your intentions are good and pure, but others are not going to see it that way. I keep looking into Mirth's eyes. Mirth, we are creatures of science and magic. We are a lot of things. There are ways to get around this sort of thing. And pointing at the construct, there are methods that we can find in order to protect others doing the exact same thing without burning our blood. And that is why I started to actually like you as my friend. Why they I look wanted up you to be my princess. Teary-eyed. 
because we can find a better way, a smarter way. And as much as I do not want to do this, as much as I... Enoch, they can still go another way. This doesn't have to be a defining factor. Remember that. As a matter of fact, while you are hired vigilantes, I am... I am an official. If we could, the, uh, if we could let Enoch finish first. Oh, sorry. Was he? Yep. I grab Mirth's hands. These are supposed to not bend the laws of death and the natural order. There are right and better ways. I am bound by my laws to do what is right. And I will not betray what I am. So I am going to do something to you which I have done to myself before. No. You make an oath to me. You make an oath to her. You will never touch necromancy ever again. And we will find a better way. Make a persuasion check. I absolutely thought you were going to take his fucking arm off. I thought you were going to take his fucking arm too. That's what I expected. (laughs) We were like, uh, (laughs) sir? Yeah, I was getting my spell ready. I thought that you were going to pull that thing off. (laughs) Yeah, no. 13. No response. They avert their gaze, and they sniffle down, and they hand Nathaniel the book. Nathaniel, I just would like to test something. That's right. Oh? If you could just hold the book out. Uh, I want to see if that's what Absolution was reacting to. You can make me an investigation. Luna doesn't have any idea what the hell's going on with this shit. Meanwhile, I would like to read... (laughs) Oh my god! Oh! The word Mirth says that they use necromancy to learn and create constructs. They were working on something this morning. They've shown it to you just now. That's why it was going crazy this morning. Were you practicing this morning, Mirth? They say nothing. Don't look at you. I'm not going to be angry. It's just helping me fill in a blank. They nod without saying another word. Well, that Mm. explains that. My sword reacted to this this morning. Thing nearly flew itself into the wall to get into Mirth's room. I look at Mirth one more time. I am, however, bound by the wall. Are you not a vigilante? I was about to say. I look at. What the fuck? I look is, at. Yeah. Last time I looked at Nathaniel. <sighs> by the order of the gear, I am. Prompted to do what is necessary. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. What is necessary? Therefore, mirth as per your punishment. You have going to turn me in. As per your punishment, you are to remain in rugged wood, continuing to help the people until I return for you. You can see some of the tears clear from their eyes. You are not to perform necromancy. You are to continue to make your alchemical and brilliant concoctions. And you are to continue to study on how to create constructs without the art of necromancy. They wrap their arms around you and bawl. Thank you, Enoch. By the way, Matthew, you should keep brewing that potion. It made me feel fantastic. I didn't get to use it, but... Their face is just buried in Enoch's jacket. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> and I, I, I rub their head and I say court is adjourned. All right. Um, and Nathaniel, you look into the, the book and you find another paper. Of course. Of course we do. Yep. Yeah. Oh this God. one notably is labeled fall, whereas the other one was labeled winter. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. So this happened before the winter one. Animate dead and blight. Did it? Year 131, fall. 
I have managed to become fairly attuned with what is quickly becoming a favorite school of magic of mine. Reanimating corpses has resulted in some extremely efficient assistance in various tasks. So far, skeletons and moderately decrepit corpses are as harmless as the summoner wills them to be. Unfortunately, these summonings have upset the locals, who would have guessed bringing back someone's loved one in a vegetable-like state would elicit a negative response. That Chandra has arranged Renee designated Shippers. summoning grounds and put out a request for volunteers willing to donate their deceased loved ones in the name of research. I'm very intrigued at the possibilities of further experiments. We'll write results out. And Abby, stop doodling in here. This is an important thesis for the sake of record keeping and future discovery, not a sketchbook. And then, in a different writing, presumably Abby's. But all the papers in Shandy's office are, f office is spelled wrong, are full of battle tactics, in quotations, and combat strategies, in quotations. Besides, you can't stop me. I know all of your hiding spots. And then a doodle. What year did you say that was? This was year one. Uh, I'm sorry, one. season, season, sorry. Fall. Fall. So between the papers we have gotten. We before. have one from summer, one from yes. fall, and now one from winter of the same year. Yes. I would think that the person who wrote this, presuming it is Kara, is actually quite analytically minded. I think it's fairly obvious it's, Ka it's Kara. She's been referenced several times. Yes. It seems certain, but then I'm not allowed to make certain on things without confirmation. As Lestrade an investigator, seemed pretty angry that you had it before. Yes, that's another theory that I'm working. Share? Theory? I've been wondering this time. <laughs> All this time. As he's eating his fucking berries, goddammit. <laughs> Let him eat his berries. Where in the world Kara Maharian is... Where this. in the world is Kara Mihari? I, Mihari? I know I need you to do me a favor. Yes. I need you to think back to the first time that we ever met Bloodstream. You've run they into him before. Him. Multiple mm. times. Yes. He First of all, we met him inside of an underground lair that he had constructed or found, whichever. It was a sewer system. Exactly. An abandoned and, one, but still a sewer system. Exactly. The and other one was, I had was... impersonated a member of the cult, or at least stated that I was one, which told me that Bloodstride is not working with Kara Mahari and not officially, or else they would have recognized me as clearly not being a member. I mean, they asked where did... my uniform was, but he did question if Car that it... he did question when you said that Kara mm -hmm. sent you. So clearly, yes. they know of each other. Clearly, clearly, Bloodstride uh, knows Kara. Belly, yeah. And the fact that he's seen as a fact. queen. Yes. Supposedly. I'm sure. That doesn't mean that he isn't just using the name. Or using uh, her name. I'm but... not sure they revere her some sort of... To say the Black Vein Queen is watching seems like they're revering her as a sort of deity figure. Or mm -hmm. a head. I don't think that... I'm pretty right. sure they're working together. It's fairly easy to follow something if they have a god behind them. What I happens when the god is, is not the god? situation. I know exactly what happens when the god is not a god and they are simply arrested. The belief That's... that this ever powerful beings that they are following and believing that necromancy will save them? Complete That's not... bullshit. That's not what I'm what I'm saying. I mm. need you to think back for a moment to when I had met him. And Joe, I'm going to need to roll something to memorize to, to remember this, because for Nathaniel it's only been a couple days, but for me it's been like five weeks. <laughs> right? What are you trying to remember? So I I cannot remember exactly what he was saying when I mentioned Kara Maharian, but I said that I was working for Kara that first day that I met Bloodstride. I remember what he said. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said... He seemed surprised, right? He said, oh, yeah. Kara se he said, Kara sent you, and then acted as if he had no idea what you were talking about because she didn't tell him. Exactly. He was someone. So clearly it they have some sort of a communication line. Exactly. There. Mm -hmm. the, the, the implication was that he is somebody underneath Kara. Yeah. I would like to roll something to get a better idea of what he might have been thinking. In fact, that is going to require a very high, I think, retroactive mm -hmm. insight. Mm -hmm. Um, I have one bit of bardic inspiration left. I'm smacking it at you. Most certainly okay. can. <laughs> Smack take it the, at you. Take the bardic inspiration. Take my inspiration, you In coward. Fact, <laughs> I'm wondering if it's possible that Bloodstride is an alias of Kara. Oh. 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 Fuck. Well, their hair colors 
clothes aren't the same, though. Kara's hair was kind of red. You can dye your hair! We live in a world made of magic. <laughs> you can <laughs> dye your I'm hair! Saying, I'm just saying. The Herbo I'm just is coming saying. out. That, but and, they have different also, hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We we don't just live in a world made of magic. We live in a world made of wigs. I have to, I have a twelve in Blood intelligence. Stride wears a fucking and a hat. Six in intelligence and real life. Right? Oh my anyway. god! No. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here insight go. with your bardic inspiration. Go. Just imagine this, the Jurassic hey. has the hair attached to it. Okay, I'm gonna oh. use my inspiration. inspiration. Roll that I'm using inspiration, my inspiration. Oh, your actual oh. inspiration. Oh. I need to know. Eh. Well, this was that worse. Was worse. <laughs> so this, is, this was worse. Oh, there goes In that fact, inspiration. This was not better. God yeah. damn it. Good try. You and then maybe the bardic of D6, I believe it is. Yeah, it's a D6. D6. It's not gonna go far. Well, it's a 14. 14. All you can glean from your memory of what you saw of him was that he was genuinely confused in some way yeah, at the confusion. thought yep. that you were sent by Kara. By Kara Maharian. And then he was angry when you held up the book that we believe belonged to Kara. Exactly. Yeah, he was how, curious. How angry do you believe a person would be if you held up their diary? Meanwhile, while this whole discussion is going on, you can see that uh, Lancel is like pointing fingers, like drawing on an imaginary chalkboard and looking confused and not following <laughs> along at all. Aww. Listen, Mert, this is way above your pay grade. Uh, you're looking well, you're in the past him. We do not have time to slow down. You, you yeah. speed up. We do you not look up. backwards, <laughs> only forwards. Aw, yep. boy. But then, uh, so my, wait, do with we the make car it back and, to Rug? I don't, oh, I don't I understand this. I really don't think they're the same people. I think they're two different people. Because I don't think uh, that... You know, Bloodstride likes to fuck with us, but I don't think he would have let that ruse go for that long. Maybe it's not for us. Why would they, Why would he have disguised himself for us if he didn't know that No, I mean, when you straight up said that you were... When you very pointedly said, I am one of your members, if they recognized you as the Witch-Taker of Belkinus immediately, then I can't imagine she would have let that ruse go on for so long when... When... Bloodshred looked genuinely confused when you commanded his minions. Kara would know about you, I'm sure, so why would she let the witch take it, do all that, take out half her forces? It just doesn't make any tactical sense. I think if we're overthinking Karn, it for, for the night. We should probably just head back to, to the city as, as said, soon as possible. As yeah. I said, it's only a theory, and you're the one who asked about it. I, I mean, it's a, it's, it's, a fasc sure. it's a fascinating theory, and Thank you for sharing it. I just don't think it's a correct one. Perhaps. But yeah, we should get back to Riverwood. Alright. I think the little what one we, needs to get some rest. What are we going to do with that thing? Like, Renee's looking at the little... <laughs> the little necro machine with knives! Oh, yeah, uh... Yeah, uh, she's like, uh, what, what are we going to do with that? Oh, uh, uh, just simply, uh, there's a switch on the back. I, I will be brave enough to try and flip it. I don't think yep. Squishy needs to go up and flip it. It, it just stand. <laughs> it just stands uh, at salute at you, uh, and just stands still straight up. And it is okay. it is four feet tall. It's pretty small. It's made of wood, and you can Aww. see that there's a switch on the back. You flip it, and a, a like a crank comes out, like extends out from a other part, and you turn it, and it goes back into being a wooden crate. I don't think you should keep it. How? What pieces of necromancy were used to create this box? I, uh, I, I, I'm not proud of it, but um, I, I studied some skeletons that I raised to mm. study their their automation and and you know where pieces go, and I sort of reverse engineered. Uh, because they are very useful, but I know like, running around with a skeleton is just kind of, you know, some eyes are going to look at me. So so I made a, a wooden skeleton instead. Now, obviously, it doesn't look like a skeleton, but, it, you know. So you I, used that raising in order to understand how to put the parts together. Mm -hmm. But the actual animation of this thing, the mechanisms that are making this thing move is not necromancy. All, uh, all regular old non-necrotic magic. Hmm. Well, it sounds like you could have gotten oh, to the same flash. conclusion, but it sounds like you can get to the same conclusion with a different method, then. A flash of genius just went through my head. You are not raising skeletons. No. <laughs> why, why would you think I would be the one to do that? I just, I just needed to say it. <laughs> it was right there. I had to say it. I of all people. I, I know. 
I know. It was right there, though. Listen, let me have my joke. <laughs> Flash of genius. However, my my reaction is genuine. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, no. The, the gears begin to turn in the head on how to do this. As long as it's okay. not necromant- necromatic and... Yeah. yeah. All right. I I know so you guys, are you guys going to head the rest of the way to Ruggerwood then? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. You do, and it's about nightfall by the time you come back, and you can see that uh, tap water has been pretty much patched up. You can see that there are like kind of wooden braces all along his side and stuff, and some bandages. Oh, I just remembered something. I. Walk up, uh, tap water. I hope you wouldn't mind me. Uh, it, it escaped my mind earlier. And I thought I could do something a little bit better than this. Ah, what is it, Mr. Enoch? Well, uh, I do have a way to kind of, well, close those gaps a lot better if you wouldn't mind me doing some of my fancy work. By all means, it is horrible to look at in the mirror. I must look my best. I use mending. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, I you, use mending in order to fix uh, fix tap water. Yep, you can see some of the pieces on his chassis just rrr, rrr, close up. They're very small, yep. kind of fist-sized yeah. gashes and such. Ah, thank you, Mr. Enoch. And you can see that uh, no Julianne problem. rolls up to you, and you know everyone gets off their horses, and she calls over some, some uh, farmhands who go and feed them. Good to see you return. Welcome back, stupid child. He is a very, stu- they are a very stupid child indeed. But good to see you alive, all of you. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's... Did you find any necromancers on the way? No, but we found some protectors, and I probably would at least recommend uh, upping the defenses I, a little I bit around the town. Uh, you know, just because uh, they might get a little bit pissed. She, she sees raise Enoch a raise a hand. Yes. I look at Renee. Remember what I've said before. That is a debt you do not want to pay. I just paid them with a fucking fake dagger to protect the town. And now I'm just recommending that they up their defenses a little bit. Don't add to your debt. I have been living in debt my entire life. You do not know what my life is. What is it, Enoch? We did run into a necromancer. And you can see, like, uh, Mirth grasps you in the back, like, of the jacket. Please, please no. However, I have performed my duties as a member of the Order of the Gear, and they have been sentenced properly. And from this point on, they will not be performing any more necromantic activities within this town. And I tip my hat. Give me... Actually, I'm going to roll for Julianne instead. I did not lie. You didn't lie. That you omitted information. It's a lie of omission. It's a lie of omission. I'm rolling to see if she's going to ask. And she does. Were they a part of the Spine of Death? Did they come with that group? No, they are not. Hmm. Good. Let's hope it stays that way. I smile at Julianne. Me too. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Me too. I'm going on a walk. I have work to do. I'm going to go into the tavern. Uh, Lancel uh, kind of grabs your shoulder for a bit. Uh, Which one? With who? Uh, <laughs> Nathaniel, sorry. <laughs> okay. Could I uh, Just make sure. join you and help out? If you would like to see it. Yes. All right. Yep. Am I staying up or am I going? <laughs> yep. Am I staying up or am I going to bed? And do what you would like. I think that I am good here. If you'd like to join, you can. She just nods. You did but... good work today. Take a rest because we're going to do more good work tomorrow. That's um, actually what I wanted to talk with you about. Inside. Inside. You head in and uh. While they're doing that, you, uh, Mirth, after you say this to Julianne, uh, Enoch, Mirth has tears in their eyes, 
and just mouths to you as Julianne rolls off, uh, presumably to her house, after waving you goodnight, because she's tired. Mirth just mounts to you quietly. Thank you. I slightly smile and nod. And I return to my room. And as I take the hat off and I look into the mirror, I put both hands to each side and I stare into those eyes. And you hear a voice talk back to you. You're straying from the path. You and I are going to have a long talk tonight. Mm. Uh, Renee, Luna, what are you guys doing? Luna went on a walk. Ah. She is agitated. It's like all, now that everything's calmed down, all of the agitation about this shit that's going on with her sword and necromancy being around and the shit that happened with her dad, she's agitated. She's going to go and find the nearest uh, open field and spar with her echo to get some aggression out. Ooh. If you would like, you can just uh, roll me an attack real quick. Uh, just a normal attack? Yeah, just one attack. Okay. Uh, absolution. 11. Okay, you're uh, sparring, fighting with this thing. Blow after blow, you're able to land a few good hit hits. You summon it immediately after it dissipates as you land a blow until suddenly it lands a blow on you. It doesn't hurt, but it, you know, the sword just goes through you as you fail and you're stumbling and your fighting is getting reckless. She keep going. She's yep. pissed and she it's like she keeps getting more pissed and she can't figure out why. <laughs> You fight and fight and fight and fight until suddenly the echo stops during one of your swings and just stands there looking at you. I think that like it's like she's about to go in for another hit and she realizes that it's not following her command anymore. And she just kind of stops and stares at it. The hell? And one of its hands rises up to your cheek and just brushes it gently. She's kind of frozen at this point. Uh, she, she stopped moving, because um, this is a lot to process. And then the echo disappears into a smoke. You're still there, Dad. I'm not sheathing absolution. I just kind of like flop back into the grass. The hell is going on? Next she's Renee. Just like, Ooh, sorry, go on. Yep. Last thing you're doing. Uh, I was just like saying she like rubs her hands through her hair and just like rubbing her face, just like trying to comprehend everything. That's that's it though. Next is Renee. What are you doing? Um admittedly she had misinterpreted a little bit of what Enoch was saying about the lie shit, and that kinda like stirred some feelings in her she does not like, especially after the fact of all the haha. Uh, necromancy shit, also the heck and spooky. She's just like decompressing, like getting ready for bed. Might have asked for a drink that she could take upstairs because just, uh, needs to calm down. Yep. You de stress, you try to find a drink and you make sure that you're clean, your room is all nice and put up. You take a sip, you look out the window, just taking in the air, and you can see. Then among the random civilians outside of Rugga Wood, just going about their business, saying goodnight, there's one that stares at you. One with a very familiar silhouette. Um, how familiar is familiar? Familial familiar. Okay. This shape oh, is one that you have seen a lot. This body type is very, very recognizable. Okay. I am going to down the rest of my drink. And as you down like... it, when you when you do and drop the cup from your eyes, the figure is gone now. She just starts rubbing her eyes. That's, that's enough for today. I probably need to sleep. And so she, that actually, the, she's shaking. Oh, um, baby. But she will try to keep herself calm, take a few more breaths, and just lay in bed 
like turned away from the window. But probably make like before doing that, making sure the window is closed, like mm -hmm. locked. You shut the barred. windows and close the curtains. <laughs> it just turns over. And lastly, hides in the covers. Nathaniel, you and Lancel sitting at the tavern. Spirits oh, I'm are going low. Direct Sorry, I'm going directly to Mirth's room. Oh, Mirth's room. Lancel, uh, just kind of following you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Mm, well, I expect that Mirth is going to come back here eventually. And in addition to the strange necromancy that he was performing, he stated that some of it came from his work, or was used in his work. I would like to see what. You all drank a potion recently. I'd like to know if that had something to do with necromancy. Hey, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, all good. Ah, uh, I see. Um, I'm not comfortable with this. I will wait downstairs for you. Hmm? What's uncomfortable about it? Well, given my experience, I don't think most people would enjoy other folk rummaging through their rooms without what? their permission. Oof. Well, Oof. that's what, firstly, that's what locks are for. Change your locks. Secondly, <laughs> I need to have a conversation with Mirth, and I'd like to do it free from the rest of them. If you were here, I would be very grateful. I would like a friendly face, because this conversation is going to be less than friendly. Not threatening. Nothing like that. But the child worries me. I'm worried that they are going to continue... And I don't want that to happen for their sake. Likewise, I imagine this is happening while we're like in the hallway just to his room. Mm -hmm. Likewise, I nearly died today. What would you have done if that had happened? He looks down and no response comes out. It's important that you have an answer someday because it might happen. This is the dangerous work. Bloodstride is the consequences that you inherit. He looks up or to you and opens his mouth, but no words come out. If not him, then somebody else. And I'm not going to dissuade you from continuing this adventurous work that you're doing. If you tried to dissuade me, or if my father had tried when I was your age, it wouldn't have worked either. That is our strength, is that we persist. But... Do you know why I did not die today? Because you are the witch-taker of Belkanus? No, nothing so pompous. It is because there was someone standing next to me. It was Enoch, of all people, but normally it is Rene, for that exact purpose. And you are traveling alone. You may have gallivanters following you around, but that's not the same as having a partner. Or having a system of people. So I am going into Mirth's room. I am going to check on all of his things. And I am going to make sure that he does not intend to continue necromancy. They. Sorry. And I am going to check on all... Uh, make sure that they do not continue necromancy. Because I want you to keep them on that path. Very well. And if Mirth decides that they want to go out into the world because they see an adventurous young lad that is being a hero or some such, then perhaps you will allow them to go with you. And then you will have a partner and I won't worry so much. Oh. This is acceptable. Oh. Are you saying I should stay here? Or go somewhere else. Oh, well, it's this... your choice, and I think I need to. It's your choice, and I think that keeping you in Belkinus proper is not good for your health any longer. He has a little smile, and his shoulders lower in relief. <sighs> oh, thank goodness! Oh, you saved me so much trouble, Father. I was about to bring that up myself. Oh, oh, that saves me the trouble. 
Good. Now, like I said, I am going to snoop around the room of this person that didn't buy good locks. Would <laughs> you go into Mirth's room? like oh? me to stand at wait or join you? And do what you would like. I hope that you'll take from me and learn how to investigate rooms. Even friends have secrets. Very well. Do you? I thing? don't expect to find. I don't expect to find anything incriminating. But you can never be too sure. And if I am sending somebody to be attached to you in any way, I'm going to make sure that there isn't a danger posed. And then I'm going to go do All right. my thing. Look on in, and the room has been pretty cleaned up. Are you looking for anything in particular? Nope, just general scavenging. Scavenging around, you can see, just as proposed, some of these, uh, you know, like, with passive arcana, you can tell that some of the ingredients were indeed blighted. They were not dried naturally. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the ingredients are blighted. You do find, you know, crushed bone marrow as part of some ingredients, presumably, you know coming to the conclusion that they were from raised creatures. Uh, various different uh, potion ideas, notes on experiments. A lot of them scratched out, a lot of them failed. And as you're investigating through, you and Renee and Enoch all hear from your rooms a loud, low boom. And you hear Lancel's voice. <clears throat> I run out. You run oh, out, God, you see out of... you see Lancel is at the end of the hallway, and you can see that Mirth has a hand in hand with Bloodstride, and they look to you with <gasps> tears in their eyes. I'm no. sorry. And they walk through a portal. <laughs> that is where we're gonna end today's session. <laughs> you stole the boy! You stole the boy! The this is what you no, get! No. Mirth, oh, my God. No. Mirth Mirth walks through the portal with Bloodstride, and that is where today's session will end. How fucking I dare you? I trusted, and that was a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>